along to another exciting episode of Dimension 20 Live <laughs> presents <laughs> Fantasy High <laughs> sophomore year. They're doing their spells! Yes, everyone gave wow. me such shit about my spells being wrong. I'm looking them all up. Uh, <laughs> looking up all their spells. Turns out I don't have Ice Feast or whatever <laughs> right. I thought I had. Hey, <laughs> nobody has Ice Feast. What the fuck is Ice Feast? It's a feast of ice. Oh, Thank come you. on. Yeah. Never, you have a bag full of ice cream. Yeah, if you guys want a homebrew so, ice piece, you can. Guys, uh, welcome back to another exciting episode <laughs> uh, of Dimension 20 presents Fantasy High's, uh, a Fantasy High sophomore year. The continuing adventure of the Bad Kids, the world of Spire's premier teen adventurers at the Egg Ford Adventuring Academy, a high school for heroes. A um, uh, couple notes for tonight. Um, uh, uh, number one, uh, if you guys uh, are interested in Dropout and seeing Dimension 20, uh, uh, but you're having a hard time affording it, good news. Uh, we're going to release the entirety <laughs> of our first side quest, Escape from the Blood Keep, to our YouTube channel uh, with new episodes dropping every Saturday. So we're going to release uh, all of it. Escape from the Blood Keep is jumping out from behind the paywall in the run-up to A Crown of Candy. <laughs> so... Uh, so the Saturday before A Crown of Candy comes out, the last of the fin finale here from the Blood Keep will go up on our YouTube channel. Make sure to check out Dimension 20 Show on YouTube and ring that bell. Um, also, uh, if you have some friends and family in your life that are like, oh, I want to watch Dropout, but I can't afford it, good news, you guys can now gift subscriptions from one to 12 months if you want to get a uh, Dropout for somebody as a present, birthday, anniversary. Easter's uh, coming up. Easter's coming oh, up. Oh, oh, Easter. Easter. Classic. Easter. Classic. Better to find inside an egg. Exactly. Classic, classic Easter present. <laughs> um, uh, also, in our store now, you can buy uh, a Pock Gut Gax coffee mug. Uh, don't talk to me till my death's avenged. Uh, use the code MySonRiz, and you can add a Riz sticker for free. Um, my beautiful son. Uh, beautiful, beautiful son. Beautiful baby angel. Uh, before we move on, actually, you know what? It's a little toasty in here, so you I'm just gonna... You hot, dude? You hot? I'm a little hot, so oh! I'm just gonna... Oh! Your shirt is bad. Your shirt. I like this shirt. What do you mean? What's the shirt? Good. The, the famous shirt, shirt that you wear every day. <laughs> a shirt so good you can't stop Brandon's wearing it. Shirt, TM. Um, okay, I didn't know that there was such a kerfuffle over my shirt, so I'm gonna go ahead and change shirts if there's such a big wow. to do about. What are you, what are you, what's, yeah. what's it say? What? What's that? Bethany won shirt gate. Wow. Bethany won shirt gate. Congratulations, Bethany. Hey, Bethany. What? Congratulations. What? You won shirt gate. <laughs> all right. Look. Uh, so many oh, she just posted Brennan's today that shirt. you wear that shirt all the time. I own lots of shirts. <laughs> oh, do you? I got plenty of shirts. This does look like a new one. Honestly, like I wear Bethany. the same amount of shirts and do not get roasted for it. Um, you know so what? I'll own that. You don't have like a clear favorite though. I've yeah. never yeah. worn the same shirt twice. I also In have. My life. <laughs> I that would, is I throw them remarkably out. wasteful. I burn them. I burn, I burn them. them. Mm, and, and they keep my children warm. So right. is that wasteful? Well, making you gonna tell me they keep my children warm is wasteful? This bit took so long that we moved to the Gorgug music. Uh, <laughs> oh, love it. <laughs> okay, enough fun for everybody. Gang, this is Dimension 20 Live. Last we left off, uh, Ooh, we, had, uh, we had a bit of a wild time. Um, uh, I think you guys will find that last time we uh, were here, uh, we had some really incredible stuff happen. Uh, our, all of our friends started in the Nine <laughs> Hells, uh, and Riz Gutgak met his dad's, uh, his dad's spirit, Pot Gutgak, a, a saint, <laughs> a, a, a celestial soul working for the uh, Lower Planar Reconnaissance Task Force. Uh, he helped his dad and got some information uh, crossed back and forth about the nature of Kalina and the Shadow Cat, uh, and got decked out with a bunch of rad spy gear, uh, which is extremely, extremely cool. Um, we also uh, had a bunch of fun uh, with our guys coming back and uh, getting to Arborly, we had a viral shrimp party, which oh. has never happened we, in a game of wow. D&D before. <laughs> that party was coronavirus. That was, <laughs> that was, we were patient zero we were in patient corona. patient zero <laughs> in a big I'm shrimp I'm glad we gave away all of our <laughs> stuff, yeah. right? All Everything the really Yeah, y'all yeah. poor now. Shrimp flu. Uh, well, yeah, that's right. It's fine. Uh, Once I get residuals, uh, I'll be back. Fig, uh, Fig, Riz, and Gorgug gave away all of their uh, wealth, all of their currency. Not, not anything that I, I was rich before. 
New money, of course. All the new money. Sorry, you did not give away my, your my like touring. Your touring. Wait, money. But they would have touched it, in it, the bank. Well, no, yeah. that well that money would be in her in her like escort. <laughs> no, you have to. You truly do have to give everything away. I think to be free of that, right? Yeah. This is true. You're poor, dude. <laughs> I've never confirmed any of this stuff. This has all been a leap of faith on your guys' part. Uh, the, 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 uh, so you tell me. I'm gonna. I'm going to assume that you didn't give away your rock star money until told otherwise. So um, then our beloved heroes uh, uh, gave away. In this case. Only Riz and Gorgug gave away all of their currency. I called my bank and everything. You called your bank and everything. Uh, and then they enough. headed into the forest of the night. <laughs> so prepared. We were so prepared. If I roll prepared. a luck point, can I undo what happened at the end of the episode? No, you may not. Okay. What about two luck points? What if we all roll a nat 20? Can we redo last night? Right, yeah. Honestly, all... if, uh, if all of you roll a nat 20 right now, it already hasn't happened. It already hasn't happened. 18, 19, 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. Pretty good. <laughs> Collectively, that's like 320. Gang, we are rowdy tonight. Uh, and the reason being that uh, as our intrepid heroes, uh, wait, did we do that this time? Say hi, intrepid heroes. Hi, hi intrepid, intrepid heroes. We're going to die. As our intrepid <laughs> heroes uh, uh, enter the forest of the nightmare, they split up to search for the ingredients that Kristen would need to make a tincture to cure the shadow cat plague. Having collected two of the three ingredients, it seems that Sandra Lynn Baxter, her griffin now, Rog, vanished into the forest. Some horrifying magical fate befell Zafriel in the, uh, the Hang Van Gem and Ida Eggfort. And Tracker witnessed an illusory full moon, which would normally not do anything to a werewolf. But here in the Forest of the Nightmare King, where illusions are partially real, it was enough for her to transform. Uh, Kristen heroically uh, cast greater restoration to remove the disease from Riz, and uh, herself is suffering the horrifying attacks of Kalina, the Shadow Cat, who is partially real and therefore able to hurt Kristen. Um, you guys are a quarter of a mile into the forest. You know, you're not that far. Uh, you're a quarter of a mile into the forest. Um, it is all difficult terrain here. Um, you, uh, so the briar wall is not far away from you. Arbor is not far away from you. You are each about 300 feet away from each other through thicket and trees and brambles. Uh, but you roughly know the direction that everybody is in. Um, as Kristen is sustaining these attacks, I'm going to need all of us to roll initiative. Oh, no. Uh, this excites me. I'm excited. Sick puppy. I'm excited. Well, I'm a sick, sick puppy. puppy. Sick. <laughs> oh, I'm a sick puppy, and this excites me. <laughs> bow wow, bow wow. <laughs> <laughs> bow wow, bow wow. Uh, let's go <laughs> around. <laughs> uh, I always am making Go ahead uh, and Who got, who here got above 20? No one. Who got above, who here got above 15? Uh, what did Gorga get? 16. What did Fabian get? 17, bow wow. 16. Damn, neuter this puppy. Get out of here. Go ahead and try and neuter this puppy. <laughs> I'm excited. Try to neuter this puppy. Try and neuter this puppy. <laughs> We're running, we're running, gang. All right, who got between a 10 and a 15? Oh, no. <laughs> um, uh, uh, okay, what did Fig get? Nine. What did I also got nine. Negative two. <laughs> what? Uh, she simply must get a new deck. Uh, what? <laughs> Oh. If you if you oh. roll high, you also gotta roll low sometimes, right? Hey, hey I mean, hey your dice man. tell a beautiful story. Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, so, uh, Rog, nowhere to be seen. Gorgog, Fabian, you are up in the trees. Uh, you know, in a sort of a tri at the point of a triangle, three hundred feet from either of your other bad kid allies. 
Um, you can sense something is going wrong. Um, you can probably hear muffled shout. You hear fine tracker off in the woods. Yeah. Uh, Fabian, you are first to act. What do you do? Uh, can I make a perception check? Yes, please do. Uh, 10. Okay. You Just, see forest, mist, no sign of rock. Uh, I look up uh, to Gorgon. I feel like we should uh, find uh, the ball. Or, or yeah. Anyone? Okay, great. Uh, and I'd this like. This sucks. <laughs> this sucks. Uh, rock! Uh, and I'll slide down the tree and move to in the general direction of where I think the ball uh, and Kristen are. Okay, you're going to take a full move action? Full dash action. And then, uh, fuck it, I'll action surge and dash again. Okay, hell yes. Yeah. Um, you rush. Uh, you rush in the direction of your friends. Uh, can I communicate with the hangman? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, hangman, uh, things are going very poorly. Uh, <laughs> do not uh, enter the forest, uh, but uh, please uh, bring Galia and uh, anyone else uh, to the entrance. Sire, I come now to the briar wall with the wretch known as Galia. Great. Uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, yeah, be ready. Uh, things aren't really aren't going well. Oh, sire, I'm sorry to. I should have come with you. No, no, you probably would have disappeared in the forest as well. Why? What? Why? Like, why would you have disappeared? This is not the time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Riz, uh, you are there. Uh, uh, Kristen has just shouted at you. Find Tracker. Tracker is. Um, uh, go ahead, actually, make a perception check for me. <sighs> Okay, 15. Um, as the disease is cured from your body by Kristen's magic, um, what you were unable to hear a moment ago, you now hear. Uh, it is fading extremely quickly, which is Tracker at this point already probably three or four rounds away, but you hear the crashing of a giant wolf through the underbrush running deeper into the forest of the nightmare. I don't think we're finding Tracker right now. Uh, I'm gonna try to find this tincture thing real quick. Okay. Um, I guess I will, actually, um, okay. So Kristen right now has this thing that is hurting them. Um, I want to, what, okay. Why don't you run, try to find our friends or try to get out. Okay. Um, I want to hand Kristen my um, gun that has the signal flare. Okay. So that if, okay. if like you're about, if you're like running and you're about to go down, you can shoot it up. Um, okay. And then I'm gonna just scramble around and try to find the last thing. Give me a survival check, DC 15. What do you have to survival? <laughs> Plus one. Ah, <laughs> Ooh, baby. You go, you find uh. the pollen, um, you scrape it into a little detective baggie. You have everything you need to make Run. the tinctures. All right. Um, uh, okay. Um, that is your turn. You're running uh, Gorga, you that's you. I assume you're doing. No, not after. Uh, right. Cast jump on myself to avoid the terrain as well as I cool. can. Cool. You'll take. Uh, 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 yeah, actually, that completely works. You okay. leap to the bottom of the tree. Okay, so I'm on the same track as Fabian. I'm. I, well, I'm going to make a perception check to see if I can tell where to go, or do, do I? Or I'm just following Fabian, I guess. Um, I cool. Think you, you might be able to move faster than me, Gorgo. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to just go the same direction as Fabian. Cool. I'm going to need a survival check from you. It's a DC 10 survival check, not to get lost in the forest. Okay. All right. 18. Yes. Okay. Nice. Cool. I have survival for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's barbarian stuff. Today. Uh, yeah. That is barbarian stuff. Truly That's never true. come into play Sometimes in this Sometimes we campaign. forget what classes we are. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, incredible. Um, that is going to go and be... Um, Kalina looks at you. She's still there. She's still, she's killing you. When she, oh. Riz doesn't see, Riz doesn't see uh, her doing this. But she like lash like when these things erupt in like bursting boils on your face, it's her claws and your vision scratching across you. She looks at you, her eyes go wide with fear as you cure Riz of this illness. Um, she uh, vanishes. And as she does so, you guys see a horribly wounded Sandra Lynn on Baxter fly into the clearing looking completely manic. She is holding this like wrestling 
like it looks like a horrifying little gremlin made of like roots and plant matter. She lands right in between you two guys, leaps off and says, Kristen, bite this. Perception check? Uh, go ahead and make a perception check. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nat 20. Nat fucking 20. Yeah! <laughs> this is too much Woo! for me. Yes! Oh, I love you, oh, we have here a flight of dice. Starting down with our. Yes. Yes. We have a kiwi strawberry. Enjoy. Enjoy. We have fifth. We're fifteen minutes in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, Anyways, it is Sandra Lynn. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Your perception check tells you it is Sandra Lynn. Huh. D12 is too big. Um, Did you put it in the coffee? Uh, put it in the, the coffee. I'm looking forward to that. When you ruined ruin the coffee. coffee. No. no. Ruin the fucking coffee. Ruin your coffee, dude. Um, ruin, ruin your coffee. freaking ruin your coffee. coffee, dude. Ruin your coffee. Now, uh, uh, because you asked, and because you rolled a nat 20, mm -hmm. um, this is a forest of lies. Kalina vanished because she needed to use her focus and attention to create an illusion. And uh, Riz, you didn't see any of that. I was lying to you, Murph the player, when I said you did. Yeah. Riz doesn't see anything because what happened is that little squirming baby is right where Riz is. <gasps> oh! Sick. <laughs> I don't know if I should bite it. Bite what? I don't know if I should bite it. You're gonna bite me? You're like burying your teeth at me. What are you doing? Uh, we need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Uh, the illusion fades. Uh, Kalina ah, reappears and that illusion vanishes. Uh, she was attempting to get you to bite Riz. Um, okay. Uh, Kinky. Um, to infect you again. Yes, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Dang. Ooh, wow. Um, <laughs> oh, the 20s bless us. Uh, no matter what I do, don't take my blood. <laughs> no matter what I do, don't, don't take my me. blood. Just don't bite me. Uh, okay, uh, that is going to be Fig's turn. That's a um, solid Fig, play, Kalina. Um, you are yeah. standing in the woods. Um, you are still holding the feather. Um, you hear a voice next to you go, Oh, it's so bad. Don't worry. All your other friends are gone, but baby is here now. <laughs> How comforting. <laughs> Whatever they were doing for you, baby can do is just as well. Yes, yes, thank oh, you so much. Uh, if you, because I'm directly after you, if you wait, I can cast fly on us both. Well, yes, I would like to fly. I'll hold my action. <laughs> you hold your action. Uh, can I go, can I do like a perception check or like to try check. and find out where the rest of our friends are? Uh, 16. 16, um, uh, your mom took off. You can hear shouting and you hear a blast of like rocket boots and Fabian like sliding down the side of a tree, not too far away from you. All right, that direction. Okay, Great. you cast fly. I cast fly as a fourth level spell, so both of us are flying, uh, which gives us a flying speed of 60 feet. Okay, so that cool. means Adain, you can move 60, and Fig, if you want to, you can actually just move 120. Um, yeah, but I do it just to come back in a row in a circle to be next to Adine again. <laughs> Damn, Very that's cool. cute. Yo, as we need to get out of the forest. <laughs> Wait, are we? If I go further than 60 well, if we all feet, meet am up, I gonna see my friends? You're, if you go, to, you will meet uh, Fabian and Gorga to the bottom of the tree if you do a full 120. Okay, I have Adine. 60 feet of dark vision, so I will still be able to see. Are you, you at cool that if distance. I go ahead? You won't yeah, that's feel fine. unsafe or anything. I feel unsafe with you there and without you there. It's not about you. It's the forest. Oh, okay. Is cool. Okay. <laughs> so it's not wow, about that, you. those no. are some really good boundaries. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, um, okay, then I fly down and I find them. Cool. You guys see Fig flying what? through. What's it? Are you, you, you could fly. I thought I was flying. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kristen, you are, it is though. your turn. What do you do? Um, okay, I we got everything we need. I start take I take off running for the exit. Cool, getting out of the forest. Um, and then I, can I cast a spell in? Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I cast, um, da, 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 da. Should we just shoot the flare up? Yes. Why don't we do that? Yeah, I shoot the flare cool. up in the air and I cast a, like a lesser restoration on myself. Okay, dope. Uh, Riz, you can probably, yeah, you, I'll let you do the signal as just an object interaction. Um, and you cast lesser restoration. Oh wait, sorry, no, I'll do cure wounds. Okay, cool. Uh, a level, 
three cure wounds, and then I get some auto heals. Sorry, since I held my turn, mm -hmm. can I do an action and play and do counter charm to give everyone advantage on saves against being frightened or charmed? Um, absolutely. Okay. So you can you can do counter because you're moving twice as fast as anybody else. You can take an action to do counter charm every round and still be moving as fast as everybody. Cool. Um, uh, <clears throat> awesome. Um, so, because you are all now committed to uh, finding each other, I'm just gonna say we'll move through the next round of initiative. That happens. Um, Kristen, the next round, you are dealt 11 points of damage. Do you need a, do you need a heal? I have a healing word. Um, I mean, right now I'm, I'm only missing a few. Okay. You know, I'm not, it's not dire, but I will at some point. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just gonna be healing myself as we try okay. to get out. Cool. Okay. Oh, I healed Riz, by the way. Oh, Riz. Oh. Riz isn't infected yeah. anymore, but, oh, but Kalina's really tricky and I almost just reinfected him, so everyone watch out. Okay. okay. Don't have, bite have the we, baby we, uh, that your mom gives you. I don't together. think we're all together. You guys yet. are, all together. Uh, uh, now, I'm gonna say, you take that damage on okay. the next round, all of you guys come together. You have the pollen. You've okay. taken around to cast Cure Wounds. Um, uh, you see, before you guys, you guys, in other words, come together, mm -hmm. um, as you do so, um, uh, Kalina appears and says, wait, wait. I'll kill you before you make it back to Arborly. But all your friends will escape, even if I kill you. So let's make a deal. Okay. Um, you see, she says, <clears throat> your crystals on the ground smashed. The kid's photo ripped in half, left on the floor of the forest. You guys walk out of here with you alive. That's the deal. Run! Everybody run! run. run. Uh, <laughs> um, can I call to the hangman? Hangman, can you drive into the forest? Uh, you see the hangman says, Sire, the briar wall is not granting me entry. All right, great. Well, uh, still, be there Babe, and ready. do something. Can I put Kristen on my back and start running? Or like, if someone wants to like use a spell or something, yes. that, they can do that. But uh, that's what my plan is unless. Cool. Um, I'll let you guys, like, like uh, Gorgo, if you want to put Kristen on your back, um, that is totally... I still have jump on. Still have jump. Jump's not going to affect your speed, but it's going to help you with that difficult terrain. Yes. Um, I mean, can I grab Kristen and Dimension Door to the mouth of it, or will that just mess you guys up? Dimension Door will get you Do it. some there, 600 right? I also... Feet. No, I don't. <laughs> Look, okay, there's a little like kerfuffle before we started filming today. I did make a lot of spells that were not mine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they did say cleric on them. I just Do you agree. guys feel safe with yes. that? Yes, let's just run. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to dimension door, Kristen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. And Riz, do we have two people with one? Do you have something? I don't have dimension door. We're fine. Let's keep running. Okay. Yeah. So, I can pick Riz up. You're less than so 90 pounds, right? So, Fig. And so, okay, so Fig grabs Kristen. And I'm you, flying. I can fly really far. Yeah. I can also dimension door. I can cover some. Shit. Um, okay, Fig. Uh, <laughs> uh, awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say here, um, okay, in the round that you're figuring that, you take another three points of damage. Okay. Um, can I uh, tap, uh, can I touch Kristen mm -hmm. and say, spring break, I believe in you and uh, cast heroism on uh, oh. her? Uh, so yes, you can. At the beginning of each of your turns, you will gain temporary hit points equal to my spellcasting modifier, which is plus three. Oh, cool. um, so yeah. every turn you guess, uh, you get three hit points and you're also immune to being frightened. Um, oh, great. Oh, great. I cool. believe in you. Thank you, spring break. <laughs> spring spring break. break. I miss Tracker. Uh, so, what? Um, uh, I'm gonna s I'm gonna actually see something real quick. Uh, I guess I also if I'm gonna be piecing, I'm gonna uh, leave some bardic inspiration for you guys. Great. You already Appreciate have it. some. I, I can give it away. Wait, thank you, thank you. Um, so this is very tense right now, but I just want to see I'm something. I'm so scared. Um, <gasps> okay. Um, uh, so, um, 
normally, um, uh, uh, I'm going to ask for an. I don't know if, if if Fig wants to attempt to carry Kristen. I'm going to ask for an athletics check to be able to do that. Okay. Cool. Can I wink at? Uh, yes. This is Fig. taking another another round, which is another six, but only three, three. damage to you. Okay. Um, can I have Baby give me the help? Baby can give you the help, actually. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to use the Bardic Inspiration. That's a 21. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That's um, right. So, Come here. So uh, this... can, I, can I ride like a piggyback ride, but on the front? Yeah. <laughs> you just have no idea what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> I'm flying and skateboarding at the same time. Um, uh, uh, you see, uh, uh, so you guys see in this incredible act of magic, Fabian, you pass out these bardic inspirations. Um, uh, as you guys uh, move, hold on one second. Uh, you see underneath Fig, this like huge fiery pentagram just appears. Fig picks up the party's cleric and appears almost halfway, yeah. almost <laughs> certainly saving Kristen's life. Yeah! Um, we're still gonna run it out. We're still gonna see how that works. Um, uh, but the way we're gonna do it is this. So you just, oh, uh, uh, you can get, you can use somebody else's survival check for this if you want, but I'm gonna ask for another DC 15 survival check to know the right direction. Okay. Who, uh, you, you have good survival. I have yeah. five That's plus great. five. better than the yeah. rest of us. Yeah. yeah. 22. Hell yeah. Okay, great. So so as you're getting as you're picking Kristen up, Gorgug, you know exactly the way back to the wall. I uh, guess I get this stuff. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Um, you are of the land. <laughs> uh, you appear 600 feet closer. Um, we're gonna resolve uh, we're gonna resolve Fig and Kristen, and then we're gonna resolve everybody left deep in the forest. Great. Um, so uh, here's how this is going to work. Uh, Oh man, that heroism is so clutch. Uh, and you're flying, That's taking so double good. move action, which is 120. You've been there for us. It's the least we can hey. be there for you. Dude. I'll be there for I you until like the end of time. Use an action to <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, um, uh, even without that, this was gonna be 44 rounds for you to get to what? the wall. It is now, because of, because of flying dimension dooring, gonna take 12 rounds. Cool. Cool? Um, so I'm gonna roll a ton of damage right now. We're just gonna do this. Um, uh, 20 dice. 12 oh, but I have, times I do three. have bonus action heal. 36, so you, so you subtract 36 from this no matter what. Subtract 36 from this no matter what, you got it. Um, hold on one second. I have bonus action heal, so I can also be healing word her. Oh yeah. And you could be healing yourself. Yeah. Okay. Um, here's how this is going to be. Uh, at, while this is happening, what are the four of you back in the woods planning on doing? Uh, I'm going to pick up Riz. Okay. Um, just to hold. Just, just a, yeah. <laughs> how far can you move around? I can move uh, 30 feet. Do you want to hop on my back? Not really. <laughs> okay. You have to. This I isn't mean, the time, I, Fabian. I, this much? isn't the time. Okay. <laughs> well, you're baby. comfortable on people, all right? I remember the backpack and okay. such and such. This is 24 d6 damage Boy. coming Kristen's way. Okay, 11, 14, 20, 24, 34, 38, um. 40. 51, 55, 65, 77, uh, 85, 80, uh, 85 minus um, 36. So 49. Minus, uh, uh, yeah, uh, plus another three. Oh no, uh, 49, yeah. Um, That's uh, you great, because I would have been down. Uh, well, you, you would be healing yourself as you go, right? You could yeah. be, yes. Yeah. Could you be. take 49 points of damage. Um, uh, Fig, uh, you see a badly injured Kristen. You're just watching wounds <laughs> open up. Uh, Kalina keeps sort of appearing to you. Uh, it's truly insane because you're looking at Fig's back while she is just like, I'm gonna say a trail of fire is coming up from behind Fig huh. as she's flying, holding oh, I you. I do that, that's just <laughs> happening. <laughs> 
Um, cool flavor. And you Very see cool. crouched on Fig's back. Fig, obviously you can't see or experience this. Kalina is just raking her claws across you saying, listen to reason, kid, oh! come on. I kind of nuzzle my face in your like neck, like, ah, this is so scary. I got you, Kristen, I got you, stay still. Oh, stay she's strong. here, she's a freaking big cat. Um, uh, that sounds really cute. You, you start to feel something also on your uh, your cheek, which are little wet kisses, and you hear baby go, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, these kisses are wet. I'm made of blood. <laughs> Is this okay? I'll take what I can get. Baby's a really good dancer. Baby show. <laughs> what? Um, you see, not he the time. Not holds the time. himself not the time. in. He holds himself in space, keeping <laughs> his, where where his hands and feet are in space is completely <laughs> static, and his perfectly round body just like bounces around in between oh, where his hands wow, and feet are. He's so oh, good. He's I so guess you should stop and save it. The nightmares it are real. We gotta wait for the rest of the group, right? Um, uh, okay, uh, incredible. Um, you get to the briar wall at your approach, Fig. You see the portal opens back up. The hangman screams in. Okay. Um, uh, I put Kristen there. Mm -hmm. um, Kristen, I'm gonna seal this back up and go make sure I, to help shuttle everyone because I still have another dimension door. Okay. Are you safe on yeah. this other side? Who's here? It's just Galir? Uh, you see, it's Galir and uh, the hangman who's come in. Galir has not entered the forest. Dota, is everything- Stay! Don't come in! <laughs> All right. Um, can I give, can, I don't know if I should leave you. With Galir? Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna no. leave. Cool. No, but you have to mention, no, like go help everyone. No. Definitely get- are you are you going back through the door or are you staying on the other side in the nightmare forest? Go, I'm going go back through the, the other, door. Okay. Go through the door. You go through the door. The second you go back through the door, you see Kalina walks through the door with you. And says, "Catch you next time." You and vanishes. Okay. I. Yeah. Hurry. Uh, maybe just bring back whoever you can. Um, yeah, focus on Riz. Okay. That happens, but it's still, it took you 12 rounds to do this. Yeah, We're gonna have to I resolve know. 12 rounds okay. of these guys before we get to that. I get on Gorgug's back and I ask everyone, I swear everyone to I silence. I immediately take fake Oh my, stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> stop. No, Look at those little feet! Uh, it's it's so scary normal. right it's now. Normal to get I, have normal, around. I have normal sized feet and it's the ball. It's normal to get carried around. Yes, when you're the ball, all right? The ball, <laughs> balls awesome. get carried, all right? I've been carried a lot, I don't feel Undignified. You're surprisingly light. Shut up! <laughs> everybody shut up! Everybody, it's been, everybody it's shut up! It's 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 well, well, it's because uh, I'm What's up, the ball? <laughs> no. All right, fuck <laughs> this. Fuck this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So, um, uh, Don't. Uh, so Adine <laughs> is flying. Yeah. Gorgug nailed the direction back to where you guys are going. Um, so the slowest speed is going to be Gorgug's speed on the ground, uh -huh. which is still 40. Um, uh, so we're gonna determine it this way. 40, uh, if yeah. you're doing a move and a dash every round, mm -hmm. um, uh, that's gonna be 80 feet, but then halved again, so it's 40. So it's gonna take take you this amount of rounds. Is it halved with, with jump. the jump? Um, is that you over? only can do jump like once per round, so it's on on the uh, grand skip. Oh no, it la it's concentration, right? Yes, it lasts for a minute. Okay, I'll actually divide that in. in I have two spell slots. Okay, so, so I'm gonna say, twice. I'll divide that in half again. Um, cool, it's gonna take you guys 16 rounds. So you're, they're actually... Uh, uh, Just uh, a little bit behind us. Yeah, that jump spell is, is really kind of helping. Sure. Um, okay, cool. Um, or actually, no, because you're, now, because you're, 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 the jump is preventing the difficult terrain. No, you would be going twice as fast without difficult terrain. So uh, let me go ahead and see this real quick. Uh, Keep in mind, he's anime running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My arms, arms behind. Yeah. My arms really and I'm good. fully letting the sheep unfurl <laughs> behind. <laughs> like a sail. It's like you're kind of slowing down. down to something. Yeah. Okay, yeah, a lot of draft. <laughs> <laughs> if there's difficult terrain, it's mostly Fabian sheep. Okay. Um, uh, awesome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that because you guys have handled this so expertly. Um, you guys, because your speed that you're going is fundamentally like 80. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say that you guys begin to hear the cawing of ravens out in the forest, but um, 
given how quickly you guys are moving and how many hit points you have, um, it would not be worthwhile to run this combat because even in the amount of even if you guys did nothing but run, they still wouldn't be able to bring you down in the amount of time you guys have. Um, you guys hear ravens coming behind you, uh, and because of your jump spell, these like rocket boots, you were actually able to mostly keep them at bay. I'll say that like Gorgug bringing up, bringing up the rear effectively takes like a cosmetic. You take like 15 points of damage from these like birds coming at the rear and, and pecking at you before you make it back to Fig, who's like waiting halfway between you guys uh, and the forest. Um, uh, you guys sprint from there. Uh, the door opens once again, uh, once again uh, for uh, Fig as she approaches. Uh, as you do so, uh, you see that these ravens come um, and as they do so, they hit the open doorway and burst into decrepit leaves with spider webs strung between them and are gone. Uh, you guys pummel through the doorway, the door closes behind you. You are back in Arborly with the hangman and Galir. Ha! <laughs> so we have to go back in there, right? Yeah, we have to like go as back soon in as there. We gotta get as soon as possible. Yeah. Kristen, we just need to get, get Kristen. The tincture yeah. going. Yes. Yeah, let's, well, let's We make got all the stuff for the tincture, right? How long does the tincture take to make? We got everything, yeah. Um, I guess I have all the stuff for the tincture, right? I'm. We're saying tincture a lot. We're saying tincture. <laughs> What's, what's weird about that? Like, uh, do we have enough Let's for this tiny tincture? Uh, you can absolutely make this here. Uh, uh, you, you, listen, you paid dearly for these ingredients. You got that, like what, was it a nat 20 on that medicine check? It was some incredible roll. Yep. Mm -hmm. Having the ingredients, you can absolutely make this tincture. It will take you um, less time uh, than it would to like long rest and do a greater restoration on yourself again. Um, uh, I still kind of want to do that, though. Does, does Kristen have to be the person that makes the, the tincture? What do you have we should make it anyway, in case we get um, infected again. Yeah, we should yeah. make as much tincture as we Maybe can. Maybe the, 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 the there's some kind of alchemist guys. or something at the uh, that tinker. You know Kristen, for sure there are chemists at the tinker. Kristen, yeah. what can yeah, I do great. to make it more comfortable for you to not take a long rest? Um, no, that's fine. Just can if I, I could take a long bunch? rest, I could... So what happened was I cured Riz, and yeah. that made her so upset. She tr like she wanted me to reinfect him. So clearly, mm -hmm. the more of us that we can have, be you're the only one, who, the has only one who has yeah. it. Yeah, really? Well, yeah. All, everyone else who has everyone it is still, still in the forest. Um. Okay, then. I mean, yeah, let's make the tincture. I let's like go to the tinkerer's hall and, and make yeah, as much, see if make we can make a yes. good old big We can make the tincture, tincture in the tinkerer's hall? Yeah. yeah. The tincture yeah. in the tinkerer's hall? Yeah. yeah. I'm messaging right now and I'm saying, <laughs> let's make the tincture in the tincture. <laughs> 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 what about, guess, what about the making the tincture in the, in the tinkerer's tent? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, can I? Tremendous. <laughs> can someone message me because I don't have it? Maybe we should say this over message. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I message everyone and I say, she also, she tried to make a deal with me. She said, if we all put our crystals on the ground and ruined them, and Riz, she knew that you were taking video of her, and if you ruined that, she would let me live. Give uh, me Sorry, one, one distinction. She didn't know about Riz's tie. Yeah, she had the picture. She had the picture. The picture. The, she talked about the, the, the original photo. Oh, cool. Very funny. Cool. I'm going okay. to say, I'm gonna say over her message, um, I, I got footage of her. Um, we should watch it um, as yeah. soon as we get Kristen healed. Yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah. I think Great. also that I'm gonna make all of my social media public, and this will be my first. My first um, post is gonna be a picture of her, and it's gonna be oh one of those gosh. like, if you see this person, they like stole from, you know, like yeah, like they're a wow. bad person. But put her name too. Yeah. Like I think it's yeah, like people like knowing that. who well, she is, what she looks like. It's better with video footage, right? Because it's multiple pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Shit. I wish yeah. we had. Like a Moonhaven, or I wish we had. We still have a Moonhaven. Is the van is still working? Is, Can we go, like, go to the van just and just and drive? Hallow it? is on the van as a location, not as Zafriel the gem. Great. So the Hallow is still very functional well, on the van, let's but go. it's no longer you no longer yeah. have the extra dimensional part where like you can all sleep here like a house. So it's mm. just a van that you've cast Hallow on. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's drive go. into the Tinkerer's Hall. Great. Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, you guys head over to the Tinkerer's Hall. Um, 
Uh, you arrive there. I'm not going to put on the happy tinkerer's music. Um, uh, are you sure? Are you sure? Um, uh, you guys arrive at the tinkerer's hall, um, uh, driving the van kind of bumpily over the grass there. Uh, Galir says, so what, what of everyone else? What of Sandra Lynn and... Later, Galir, later. <laughs> no, I think, we, I think we, we, pro need... we probably have time. I think that the shadow cat took them in some capacity, charmed them. Yeah. And took them somewhere else. Uh, they all went to a house, I think. A cottage. Yeah. But didn't, Ida mentioned wasn't being in a Wasn't the cottage turned into a curse? I don't know. That, that was the, turned into a curse? Gorga didn't say anything about a cottage. He just seemed to. Uh, you mean Rob? Yeah. Rob, excuse me. He didn't but say anything about like, a witch's hut or no, anything. No, he just disappeared yeah. on the gym. The on the gym that where Zafriel was in, yeah. it, I saw a cottage, like a spidery, spiderwebby cottage. What did it look like? Like but, a cottage ugh. with spider webs. So maybe the people who didn't ha have Kalina inside of them went to a different place? Mm. Than did the any, people who did? Yeah, I was okay. going to say, I didn't remember Ida being able to see. Ida could Do we thing. need me for any of what we're about to do? Yeah, I think you ha you're the only do one who knows how to make the tincture. Wait, but Am I, I the only one, in, or do I, I have try? it written down somewhere? I mean, you could show someone else how to make it for sure. I can, can make I, it. I'll, sh I'll tell you guys how to make it, and then I want to cast blindness and deafness on myself. Well, you can just be in okay. the hallow, right? Yeah. Yeah, just be in the hallow. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I trust it. Mm -hmm. Um. But you could you could also take a short rest if I could make the tincture and you could get some health back that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But just in case, like just so she truly has no way of looking. It's not a bad idea. Through yeah. my okay. eyes or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll give you a uh, couple. We'll do two taps on your shoulder when um, when the tincture is ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should I be blind or deaf? I get to choose one. Blind, right? It seems like, well, she well, does. Well, mind you can just close I'm your gonna eyes. I'm going to put these my headphones yeah. on you. Yeah, you okay, watch. great. Okay. I have to listen to your metal music. <laughs> so. Metal music and like a fun little sleep mask. I miss Tracker. <laughs> it's uh, just a bunch metal of different music types of blaring. Rock. Yeah, what's that? There's a bunch of different types of rock. I cast deafness on myself. <laughs> cool. And I'm still wearing your headphones and I don't let you know that I did it. Um, so Pretty for cool. everyone that goes into the Tinkerer's Hall, mm -hmm. um, uh, cool, you guys arrive there. Um, uh, uh, who all's going to the Tinker Tinkerer's Hall? I'll I'm going to stand outside and keep watch. Yeah, I'll, oh, I'll, that's I'll, true. I'll stay with I'll stay with Let sure. oh, me, I'll let you, I can. You're going German roof, Shepherd? Roof, roof. Uh, okay. <laughs> right, Why don't I stay with, puppy. yeah. I, yes, I, I'm a sick one. <laughs> Maybe I should stay with you just so that there's a spell caster here. Okay. okay. Um, uh, cool. You guys go to the Tinkerer's Hall. You both walk in. Uh, the gnomes go up you see, uh, Crumpkin and Spring Bill goes, Well, I mean, it's when Gorgon Thistle Spring! Hello, Mr. Crumpkin. Hello. Whoa, hello. I'm so Hello, Miss Faith. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, a pleasure to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Well, look, we're in a bit of a pickle and we need to, um, we need these tinkers to make some tinctures. Some tinkers <laughs> to make some tinctures? <laughs> yes. We, uh, we, um, uh, without saying exactly what's going on, like I tell them what we're trying to make or like the ingredients of them. Um, you see that they come over, some of the, t the, the, the tinkerers all have different like specialties. Um, there are definitely some that are like uh, chemists and stuff like that. They're not mm -hmm. necessarily like healers, right. but they, as just a pure act of chemistry, they'd probably be able to make this. Okay, cool. And um, I can help if there's if that helped in any way. Um, you see they say, they look at it and say, well, you've gotten a bunch of hard to get ingredients. This actually won't be that hard. Um, if, if there's anyone in your group that knows medicine, we could use their help. Uh, it's, it sounds like they're politely kind of saying like, pr the only people that would be able to give, give them a help action here, people that had proficiency mm. in medicine. Gotcha. Um, I, don't. I don't. I do. Chris does. I don't. I oh, just rolled don't really have... well that one time. Oh. Uh, you give you, you, know, you took the healer feet, didn't you? Yeah, I do yeah. have a healer feet. I have one. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I have a healer feet. Does that give me proficiency in I'm medicine? not certain, but I would let, for the sake oh, of great. this, I would let Riz. Cool. Yeah, I have, yeah, I I have like, a healer's kit. And You're, I, you yeah, know enough about, like, forensic toxicology. Great. This kind of thing is like. Riz. Um, Riz. Yeah? Riz. I dimension door him back. I'm I throw up. You see that. As you're doing this, uh, some of some of the gnomes look over. And you see that uh, they, they're like looking up at you and talking. 
and you see that. Uh, Where's baby? Uh, you see, baby says, uh, "I'm roughly the same size as these people." <laughs> I think you might be making them. Uh, I think they might. Maybe you should go over and say something sweet to them. Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Should I whisper it or scream it? <laughs> <laughs> So softly. <laughs> Is there any way baby could go away? <laughs> I'm not trying to Is be there rude. Any but chance. Is there any way baby can go away entirely? Can baby go back in his Pokeball? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, baby go bye bye now. Maybe. We'll talk about it later. I see says, okay, oh, time to make friends. And you see, Whisper. You see so soft. he goes up behind, a, uh, there's a gnome who's like oh, no. fixing a gear on something. Baby like flaps up behind it and puts like two, he puts like one hand <laughs> on a shoulder and the other on like love handle small of back. <laughs> and like bad, whispers, bad area, whispers something. And you see that just was like, you know what I always thought? And he's the gnome just full <laughs> vomits, <laughs> and, uh, and baby says, it didn't work! And then he flies away. What was he trying to do for it to not work? Yeah, what did you Something whisper? very I specific to make a friend. Oh no, why do I kill out so many tragic characters? Um, you see, uh, here, the gnomes here, keep baby. talking. You see a couple of them come over, um, and you see that the one that uh, comes over uh, is the woman that has like the sort of ornithopter backpack. She says, oh, hello, sorry to interrupt. Uh, it's, that's a remarkable instrument on your on your back there. Oh, yeah. Is that what you were looking at? I thought you were looking at my imp. Oh, I've been trying to avoid doing that <laughs> since he came in. <laughs> OK, I'm sorry. I sent him over there to you know sort of broker peace. But now you can have a spin. Wow! You play? Oh, m myself? Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, I have a flying contraption on my back, but this looks like a real piece of magical technology. Yeah. Um, uh, you see that they start pouring over it, and it looks like the gnomes are actually like identifying this uh, guitar for you. Oh. Um, uh, you see, they say, do you know all of the properties that this has? The oh. ruby is pretty easy. There's a label. Yeah, yeah. I saw. I know that. It, um, I know that it can destroy a ruby. Um, uh, I know that it doesn't prevent you from losing all your friends in the forest. <sighs> um, as you as you say that, uh, Fig, um, give me a wisdom saving throw. Ooh. What? Wisdom saving throw. <laughs> no. No. You have to. I asked. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no. <laughs> I refuse. Nine. Um, you begin to hear whispers in your. Uh, and you begin to hear a chorus of voices in your ear uh, blaming you for the loss of Sandra Lynn, for the loss of Ida, for the loss of Rog and Tracker. Um, so, you want to tell me about my guitar? Um, you should say, oh, we'd we'll be, we'll be happy to, but let's give it a thorough once over. Uh, maybe a twice over or a thrice over. Yes, many times as you need. Um, while that's happening, uh, Gorgug, um, you see that Riz gets sort of nature. Go ahead and um, you have to kind of give them the help action or they, they can give you the help action. Oh. Mm. Um, I will give you the help action, maybe? All right, I or guess it's them, is it them. Yeah. Them, them, got it. Okay, I will give them the help action. Okie dokie. Um, we'll do this box of doom. <laughs> cool. Uh, just because it's a significant roll. Um, How big of a roll does it need to be? Well. How significant is this roll? Um, th uh, these guys. Just for academic. Uh, these guys get a plus six to okay. this check. Great. Um, uh, uh, they're going to be rolling with advantage. Um, I'll give him my last bardic inspiration. Okay, okay great. Uh, so we'll throw a D8 in there. And I'm going to say that the DC is 15. For every two points over 15, they can make an additional dose oh, of the tincture. Cool. 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 Because then if we find yeah, Tracker and Sandra Tracker, Lee. I think, is yeah. going to be a problem with, with the biting. Yes. <laughs> Wait, so hang on. So it's 15 plus. Every two above that is another so dose. Ideally, another we dose. want 19. 19. Uh, in which case, oh no, I'm not even fucking there. Never mind. Okay. Um, cool. God damn it. So we're going to roll and we're going to add a D8, rolling with advantage in the box of doom. 
two and a 13, okay. uh, plus six is 19. 19. We're going to roll a D8. Because we might as well get extra. Yeah. Uh, plus seven is 26. Oh, nice. yeah. So you guys get, so 15 yeah. is one, uh, 17, 19, yeah, five extra. Great, cool. Oh, oh that feels uh, good. So yes. it's going to take you a couple, it's going to take you like a while, probably like the whole night to right. be able to like make those tinctures. Okay. Uh, but you have five full doses of the tincture. Uh, some, you guys can spread that out amongst yourselves however you want. During that long night, however, you're talking with them about your identify. Gorga, you see that Crumpkin comes over to you. Uh -huh. uh, you see he says, uh, Mr. Crumpkin. Uh, Mr. Thistlespring, um, your, your generosity uh, really can't be overstated. Our town, there's so much work here about reclaiming more of the forest and what we're able to do that all that money's gonna make a real lot of difference. Uh, okay, well, don't, no worries. It's, uh, you know, I think uh, for me, I, I thought money was, uh, money, more money, more problems, as some, I've heard someone say. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, you see, he looks at you. Uh, <laughs> Someone? Uh, someone. <laughs> I heard someone say. I think Galier says that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. more money, ah. more problems. Big Galier yeah. saying. Big Galier yeah. energy. Um, oh, you boy. see, uh, more yogurt, more problems. Exactly. Uh, Crumpkin says, uh, well, listen, we have two artificers here that would love to help you. Um, we, uh, uh, if you want to work with one of them, uh, we, we, uh, it says, uh, we have some uh, prototypes. Um, we just wanted to make you something as a show of appreciation. What? Uh, <laughs> uh, and you see that two uh, smiling gnomes come up. They look very, very moved. Um, uh, you see that um, uh, the first one that comes up, uh, you see is uh, he's got a hat that's like a helmet with a big classic looking magnet on it. Uh, and he has these weird little orbs of buzzing metal kind of floating around him. Um, you see, he says, uh, my name's Joseph Biddy Bottle. And um, I, I, I just wanted to say that, that there's a lot of research here that would we, never have been able to happen without your generous grant to the Tinkerer's Hall. Oh. Um, and you see that this woman comes over, her hair is a full, the mass of her hair compromises two thirds of her whole mass. It is a lightning streaked, just like pfft, a sphere of hair around her. Um, she's got like, uh, uh, and you see that there are clear little like alchemical stone batteries and a bandolier around wow. her. Um, uh, so you see that uh, Crumpkin says, uh, Joseph is our lead metallurgist who studies uh, rare and exotic, uh, uh, unique metals. Nice. And, uh, and Marta is uh, uh, our uh, electrician expert. Um, both of them have uh, prototypes, if you'd like to take a look at them. Um, uh, uh, if you're interested in, in one or the other, uh, we'd love to make you, uh, make you an ax if we could. What? Um, you see that, um, uh, uh, you look at, basically the two of them go over, they doesn't know that there's any sense of competition here. They basically like pitch you on two different ideas of what they'd be able to do quickly. Uh -huh. Basically they have some incre they have some stockpiled incredibly rare resources here that they've just been sitting on and like loathe to use because they're so expensive. And now that's not an issue anymore. Um, uh, so it looks like Zosif's prototype, it has to do with like, making something that would be like uh, adamantine and would literally be like an ax that wielded a magic of like metallurgy and would almost be like a gravity ax. It would like manipulate the raw force of like gravity itself. Um, and it's much more of like a combat focused uh -huh. one. And then Marta's is like one that would be a little bit more like have some spell casting stuff thrown into it. Huh. Um, she's like, we would probably be able to do either of these in, in, in the time you need. Spell casting in what way? I'm curious. <sighs> Hers looks like a very like lightning shooty kind of thing. Okay. Lightning mm. shooty. That sounds pretty rad. They both sound They do sound rad. really rad. <laughs> oh. Gravity sounds dope. Okay, I'm gonna flip a coin. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I got a little, 
to set a thing. All right, one for... We can also, Gorgon can think about it. We can come back to you. Okay, let's think about it. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 flip, flip, flip for it too. Wow. Uh, um, right. Take away a flip. Cool. Uh, just to do this, because we're all having, because uh, you're in, in the world of the bad, because right now things are so bad, we'll have a little respite of fun stuff. Um, uh, uh, Emily, I'm going to give you your magic item card for the guitar your dad gave you. Uh, oh my you God, can go that's ahead, so long. Uh, you can go ahead and read that out on camera if okay. you would like. You have plus one bonus to attack. Oh, what's the name of the instrument, first of all? The Infaithable Bass. Sick. <laughs> Uh, you have plus one bonus to attack and damage. Uh, you also gain plus five bonus to performance checks while wielding this instrument. Whoa. You're gonna regret that. <laughs> Counter shred when you roll a nat 20 on a saving throw against the spell targeting. You may, as a, as a reaction, redirect the effect of the spell back on its cast Whoa. down. That's so sick. Hellish shred anytime you are dealt 10 or more points of acid, cold, fire, force, lightning, necrotic, poison, psychic, blah, blah, blah. Um, you may add 1d6 damage of the same type of energy to attacks made with your instrument. The next, the damage increases by 1d6 for every 10 rounds, basically like absorb elements. Yeah, TLDR, when you get smacked by magic energy damage, you can add a portion of it back to your weapon attacks on the like next turn. It's like Black Panther's suit. Yeah. And uh, yes, and it's added. You stole that from Black Panther, dude. Hey, man. <laughs> it's a great movie. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, but also important is that's calculated before resistance and immunity. So in other words, if you take fire damage, which you don't actually take, that gets added to your smacks. Reckless Shred, when targeted by a spell that prompts a saving throw, you can choose to roll the saving throw with disadvantage, which is, I used to have Reckless Shred. I gave it up when I take the level of Warlock. It's back, baby! Yes. Woo! Yeah. Uh, uh, and then Shadow Rubies. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, they go through this Thank sort of you, sick. Hey, I've had so much fun making up magic items for you guys. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, it, it's it's basically the, the, all the powers of the base have to do with you being like extremely effective in like hellish combat. When like lightning and fire and cold are all swinging around and people are casting spells at you, you it's it becomes very dangerous for other people. For a second, I forget that my head whispered and told me it was all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, incredible. Um, uh, Zach. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna flip a coin. Yeah. All right. Flip. Yeah. One flip. is flip. one is the first axe. Two is the thunder axe. One. Oh, you sounded kind of is disappointed. No, I think it's the gravity one. The gravity one. Uh, you go with the. You look at it. Cool. Here's the thing. Great. You actually. Uh, I'm gonna say that Gorgug looks at it, and I will tell you as as Brennan, the dungeon master. Um, the lightning axe is extremely cool. Uh, it is slightly less effective. It is a. Uh, it is. It would, it would let you. It would be very cool and cinematic. But uh, you start looking at like at the schematics of. Uh, you see that uh, Zosif starts calling it. He talks about it as a gravity axe, but you, it's also uh, a. Uh, he calls it the heavy metal axe. Um, nice. Uh, so uh, when the axe is finished, this axe weighs. 120 pounds. It, uh, <laughs> it it requires it requires 17 strength to even lift it. Um, uh, Got 20. As you pick <laughs> uh, as you pick it up, I'll try to ask you. Um, it is uh, it has a uh, it's first of all made of adamantine, which is incredibly heavy. The pommel of it is uh, an incredible like counterweight. This is like a, a soul caliber weapon. It's truly <laughs> enormous. Uh, it is a, it's a single bladed axe, so it's not double bladed. Okay. And part of that is uh, because it has a slight, like um, there is not, not, fuller is not the right word. Uh, part of lessening the tremendous weight of this weapon, there is a perfect circle carved out of the flat blade of the axe. It's not, it's, it's about medium size. It's not like a tiny little hole, uh, nor does it take up the whole blade, but a medium sized hole in the flat blade of the axe, which is, the most shimmering, dark, dark, metallic, steel gray axe. It is like, it's like very dark gray, extremely reflective. And at the very end, you see that uh, Zosif takes like huge tongs and takes what looks like a kind of liquid metal, this like almost, it, it's so dark red that it could be black almost tongs it out of a holder and drops it into the hole in the middle of the axe, it lands in the middle and boom, 
hovers in the center of the hole. And as it does so, you can like heft the axe up more easily. Um, uh, you see, that Zosa explains, the way the axe works basically is the faster it's moving, the more mass it gains. It becomes heavier as you swing it. Uh, but as it slows, so on the upswing, it will decrease in weight again. Um, so you have this crazy physics axe. Uh, go oh. ahead and take this if you'd be so kind. Ow. The heavy metal axe. You want to read it? or is Read it, it baby. Uh, the heavy metal axe is made of adamantine. It, you have a, a plus one bonus to attack and weapon rolls with this uh, magic axe. Additionally, the heavy metal axe has the following properties. Anytime you attack with advantage, this weapon scores a critical on 19 and 20. Oh. Ignores damage thresholds, hardness, and damage reduction. Any hit against an object is considered a critical hit. Wait. Any hit against an object, object, is considered a critical hit and deals maximum damage. Oh, nice. If you miss an opponent, opponent with two or more attacks in the same round, any additional attacks made against that them that round are made with advantage. And on a hit, uh, automatically deal the uh, act, uh, automatically deal the attack's damage to an object of your choice the opponent is holding, wearing, or carrying. Ooh. Cool. So you crit more easily. Uh, uh, objects, you could absolutely, like, you could chop trees down, cut through walls and shit like that. Uh, and anytime you, like, if you miss someone twice in the same round, all your, the rest of your attacks, like, including opportunity attacks, have advantage, and you can effectively just absolutely destroy shields, swords, anything they're carrying. Oh, um, cool. uh, hell yeah. This'll do. <laughs> This'll do. Uh, dope as hell. Um, incredible. Um, uh, in the uh, we out, uh, uh, or I guess there. actually, it's probably like late because you guys you guys headed out to the forest. Uh, what time of day did you guys head out to the van? Early, early. We will go back. We do have the video of. Yeah. Cool. I guess. Oh, I guess we want to we want to get Kristen better first. Yeah. So we want to wait. I guess until we have the tincture. Um, cool. So I think you take a long rest that full day as you're like helping to build your axe. Uh, you have your base. Okay. Um, uh, Close uh, one. That hero is in there. Oh, yeah. Hey, dude. Huge. Um, Can I take the time while I'm um, making sure Kristen's okay to work on a spell for Ida? Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, you can go ahead. Give me an Arcana check. Great. Can I have Boggy help me? Yes, you can. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. Yeah. Uh, I will say you make two days progress in a single day. Great. Uh, uh, and that, and you should spend some amount of gold on material components uh, for that, but we can cover that can later. figure that out. Um, so, uh, you rest in the van the whole day, Kristen. Um, at the end of it, uh, you get your spell slots back. Mm -hmm. So it's like evening by the time you finish this long rest. Um, what's going on in Kristen's mind while this is all happening? I think I'm definitely crying a lot because Tracker is in the forest, mm -hmm. but I'm cool. listening, or I'm not listening to this blasting music because mm -hmm. I'm deaf um, by my own hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just kind of in the back seat of a non-magical van. <laughs> um, and I can't hear anything and I'm wearing a mask, so I can't see anything. So just in that silence, I'm just kind of thinking like, that is the love of my life. Uh, okay, interesting. Um, you reach out for your spells. Uh, where do you feel, your spirit guardians have left you. Tracker is in the woods. Um, you reach out to get your spells back. Uh, give me a religion check with disadvantage, which just means it's gonna be flat. a flat roll. Um, Kristen reaches out for her cleric spells. Uh, who are you praying to? What are you praying to right now? 
That's a great question. Um, <clears throat> I am, I think I'm praying to the, to n like not knowing, but not in the like pretentious way. Yeah. Uh, not in a, there are no questions, shut up, or like there are no answers. Shut up about shut it. Shut up about it, but in a like, there are no answers and that's great. That's abundance in there being no answers. Hell yeah. Um, you reach out for your spells. You regain your spell slots at the end of the long rest. As you do, uh, make a perception check for me. That one, cool. Um, your spells come back to you. Um, uh, cool. Uh, it is Shit. late. Uh, it is late evening. Um, what are you guys? Uh, as you guys come out of the Tinkerer's Hall, you guys see this new insane. The axe, as you hold it, has. It's not this light. It's very soft, but does have a like buzz to it. Um, uh, <laughs> um, Wait, can I try it? Can I hold it? <laughs> <laughs> kind of heavy again. <laughs> um, so uh, you guys all come together. Um, what do you guys uh, do as you as you come together again? Do, do we you have the um, You have the tinctures. Ocean? You can have I a try yeah. tincture just to make yeah, sure. Yeah, I guess so many. I take a tincture. Okay, um, you take one of the tinctures. Um, you're not seeing any illusions right now, so nothing sort of. Do we have that Hold photo? Up picture. Uh, you cannot see Kalina in the picture. Just to double check, nobody got reinfected. Show everybody the picture. Can I see it? I'm on to you. Uh, but you cannot see it. None of us can, can see it. Can Galir see it? Galir cannot see it. I don't want. Word. Can baby see it? Baby? You have something where you can see oh, the illusions, I can right? see it. Some sort of glasses or something? Maybe I'm totally oh, the, making that Oh, you're taking the mirror from hell? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I do the truth-seeing thing. Yeah, I have a little shard of mirror. Oh. Um, you pull that mirror out. Um, uh, as you do so, uh, you see that there is like a cracked, fractured thing to it. Uh, and you're looking around and seeing like white fog and stuff, and you realize you're seeing the ethereal plane. Mm -hmm. uh, this stuff is made of some kind of outer planar material. It appears that it does not work on the prime material. Got it. Mm. I just thought of something. Remember that mean ranger? Yeah. Yeah. Do we want to ask them if they can detect disease on us? We could oh, we could do that. Is anyone yeah. else kind of itching to get back in though? I mean, yeah, yeah of course. Do we, yeah. All of our girlfriends are in there. Do yeah. we want to double? Do we want to see the footage of Kalina? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we might not be able to see her though, because oh, none of us no. can see her now. Let's. Well, let's give, it, give it a shot. I guess we can plug it that way. Can we plug it into our, the crystal while they, she can't see us? She was pretty real yeah. in there though, right? That's true. Like you could see her. Yeah, I also have so the the. The way my thing works is I can do either detect magic or detect evil and good while watching it. Okay. Do, should I do detect magic or should I do detect evil and good? Uh, I think detect evil and boom. Detect. But detect evil and good is like against mm. celestial and fey and, okay. and Magic so. might be good because then maybe we can find out what she's doing exactly. Right. Yeah. 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 Which it's do that. so weird because like she's not really either. We well, found she's, out she's a disease, she's, right? Yeah, yeah, she's evil, right? She's like a demon. Maybe. So right. maybe but detect we, evil. Detect oh. magic actually didn't work on her before. Yeah. Okay, I'll yeah. try detect evil and good. I want to watch the footage and do detect evil and good. Okay, uh, one note about the, the necktie is that you have to have the effect running <laughs> as you're recording, not as you're processing it. Got if it. that makes sense. Oh. But I will allow you to say Just, that you did it with detect it. evil Great. and good. Um, as you look at Detect Evil and Good, the only celestial, the only presences that are coming up on the footage, Kalina is nowhere in the footage. Um, uh, but you do Detect Celestial on Tracker, you do Detect <clears throat> Celestial on Kristen. Hmm. Okay. Um, 
How often can I use it? Well, so why don't we? The, yeah. Why okay. don't we upload the video and see what people's reactions are? To yeah, it? we got to do that. Yeah. There are people who are infected in the world. Yes, I think that we should do that. Let's upload the video and see what people Up, say. So to the it. two videos on our thing is a viral shrimp party <laughs> and then just the forest. Yeah. Just yes. the forest. Can we make a website? Kristen, do yeah. you and Tracker <laughs> sure. do you and Tracker consent to your likeness being used in this? We video? do. Thank you. <laughs> um, I think we should upload it, see what people say. Okay. Um, okay. You take are you taking the full because the footage is extremely gruesome. It's like Kristen being attacked and other stuff. Are you gonna take like a smaller clip of so I wasn't there during this moment, I was, so what I, is I the I saw moment? her specifically. I was like looking in the water. Um, so what? what is the moment that you want to, <clears throat> is there a moment that you would condense it down to? There's a moment like before Tracker started turning that yeah. it's just Kalina talking to you. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe keep Tracker turning in it. Just one little, is one that, more piece of info. Or oh, maybe like she would be embarrassed. That's what I'm yeah. saying, is Tracker, yeah. Yeah, never mind. She's okay. not here to speak for herself. So yeah, cut it off right before Tracker. Yeah. Um, why don't we make it like, yeah, it's ASMR um, <laughs> <laughs> puddle. ASMR. <laughs> okay. Uh, incredible. We uploaded as ASMR. Um, yeah, that's really funny. I'm going to need a social media check from Fig. Would that be performance or persuasion? Um, <laughs> I'm going to say that that is or survival. <laughs> or deception. <laughs> right to camera. So you had plus five to performance with uh, your act. Um, I'm gonna say that this guitar. is actually uh, social media performance persuasion. I'm gonna say it's performance. Okay. Hey, and just in case, spring break, I believe in you. Thank you. Um, and then, I, since I'm carrying my axe, do I, do I get a plus five? You, or am I carrying my Yes, body? you do get a okay. plus five. So I have a, I have a plus 14 to this. <laughs> Uh, that's gonna be an 18. <laughs> and then a uh, 22. 22. Um, uh, incredible. Thank you for um, that. Is it, is it, by the way, is anyone gonna give the help action? Oh, oh, oh yeah, sure. sure. Yeah. Okay. That's way better. Okay, um, so it's gonna be a 25 plus 429. A 20. Nine. Uh, Our social media presence is incredible. <laughs> um, so you're on Gorgo's. You're, shrimp party you're, with ASMR, baby. Uh, <laughs> so ASMR you're shrimp logged party. in. What, what social media profile are you, are you using? Sig in this? Yeah. Uh, fig I'm in the fully sig destroying the brand and the name fully, of this. Fully. So oh. many angry emails from Lola Embers. <laughs> um, but you, uh, you upload it and fully, tw like, like not even um, 20 minutes later. Um, uh, you, and what, what do you say in it? Do you, do you, what do you say in the text of the thing? Ooh, ooh, right, something like, like, wait for it. Oh yeah, make it or like so, a puzzle like, so or something. So that they'll have to watch the whole thing. Can you find oh, Kalina? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna say, yeah. can you find Kalina? Yeah. Can you see Kalina? Let's, can let's you see do Kalina? this, everyone will yeah. think that It's like a Laurel Yanny thing. kind of thing. Yeah. 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 Hashtag, can you see Kalina? I don't get it. She's right there. What is everybody talking about? Comment if it's you can see. It's just a puddle. Yes. 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 Um, uh, like comment, if you can see Comment Kalina. Kalina if you can see Kalina. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. 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 Guys, yeah. it literally 10 minutes later on Fantasy BuzzFeed, <laughs> there is an article saying, you won't believe this crazy video <laughs> from, uh, goes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> goes super <laughs> viral. Uh, yeah, it's a, you see people start seeing it like, and you see the vast majority of people are like, LOL, what is this? Like, da, da, da. Yeah. Uh, and then you see people start responding over and over. Like, there's like, you know, one out of every couple hundred. It's like, there are people like, oh my God, I see the whatever. Oh. And, uh, Do you feel this, Kalina? Do you feel this? Take a picture of that picture and oh. then also type in those who know, no. Yes, do it, do it, post the photo Somebody too. Somebody post, I'm very unpopular online. Interview. Somebody else take okay, my picture. Okay, I'll get to You post yeah. the photo of Riz's dad. Right? Yeah. Uh, and right. Incredible. I, okay. um, so you guys, uh, get this video super viral and it's such a weird, crazy thing that it just uh, blows up. Um, cool. Uh, that is a uh, incredible success. Uh, what do you guys do now? It's like it's um, late into the evening. I, I feel like I should scry on them, but I can't, I only have one scry. I can, so, like, I feel like I, I can either scry on Tracker or on all of the others. 
Do we know? I have it? Ida's feather, so you can be able to scry on her better if she's being held against her will. Right. Do it, yeah. Does Scry, would Scry tell me the location, or would I have to deduce from what I saw? Where you the would have to was? deduce from what you saw. Unfortunately, <clears throat> if you're going to scry on her feather, it doesn't leave my hand, though. <laughs> I understand. Is that okay? I fully understand. Okay? I, just I, I have understand like a little all, tuft but... of Tracker's hair. <laughs> Is this what it's like when you fall in love? Yes! Okay. This is exactly what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, as Fig and uh, Kristen uh, weep, um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and... S uh, uh, so, Adam, if you want to cast crying on someone, go for it. Um, as you just weep for a second, um, though, uh, uh, Kristen, you get a... a uh, Another, you, so you already cast that greater, oh no, you used, one, did you used one of the tinctures on yourself? Cool. So you have four tinctures left. Um, uh, you, as you're crying over Tracker and seeing how horrifying it was that she left, um, just feel this emptiness of longing, powerlessness, and you have this memory of being like, at church for Helio when you were a little kid and being wrapped up in a blanket by your mom, like being wrapped up in like a, a shawl of hers and knowing for a certainty that nothing bad was ever gonna happen to you because Helio had chosen you. Um, and there is a deep emptiness in how wrong that was. Uh, and Fig, you, as you're weeping and holding the feather, you hear the whispers come back again. Um, they are biting and critical and uh, omnipresent. Um, make an insight check, if you'd be so kind. 13. Um, you have been a uh, College of Whispers bard for a long time. The main ability of that subclass is the ability to take on the visage of another person. Um, that is an ability that plays into some of your deepest insecurities and oldest fears. Um, you, on a 13 insight, uh, realize that these magical whispers you're hearing that allow you to capture someone's face and do all this stuff and be somebody else, um, uh, the whispers are you. The voice you're hearing over and over again is your voice. Well then, maybe I should just stop talking to myself. Um, you try and the whispers come back like redoubled almost. They go like, you could try and try to quiet us, try to quiet yourself. Okay, well, if I can't quiet you, then I'll just talk louder than you because I'm better at being loud than I am quiet. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I think that as you, so like the tears are streaming down your face, um, you feel your skin getting kind of like hot uh, for a second. Um, and you feel like this, this glyph on your head, you can feel it like just a little traces around here. Maybe your friends didn't notice, but feel a little bit of a trace as you're like, maybe I should get loud. And for a second, you're like, you find a place of, it's not, anger is not the right word. You find a place of rebellion, and for a second, the voices are pushed back. Um, uh, and your skin gets hot in a way that's a little bit scary, but maybe not terrible. Um, and I think Fig, uh, it's like you're feeling probably a little bit 
there's so, there's something deeper within yourself to discover here, but you're also standing in a circle of all your friends with a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, I don't usually explore myself in front of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very private. <laughs> I'm a very private person. Um, but there's something unexplored here that is lingering. Okay. Um, Adine. Yes. Uh, what are you going to do? Here's what I'm worried about. When you looked for Ida with the feather, you couldn't feel her. So I'm worried that Ida is in a place that is blocked off from divination spells. Yeah. Just like okay. alive in a different yeah. place. Yeah, I, I like that, that Maybe take. she's in a different plane or, or in some sort of bubble of protection that Do you maybe notice divination anything can't different get. about it, by the way? True. Is it changed magically? Can I... Uh, cast identify on the feather? Uh, I am so sorry about this. You took out the feather a minute or two ago. Yes. Uh, so uh, as you take it out now, you see it is glowing orange and bright in your hand outside of the briar wall. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it works again. Okay. Uh, Wait, so I'm gonna you... try to, yeah. <clears throat> Can I just get a minute? Cause everyone just what is a uh, tracker's hair away? doing in my hand? <laughs> um, it's like uh, uh, it smells really good. Yeah, it's like lavender shampoo. It's yeah. all that's all. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Well, glossy. It's really glossy. The way this works, Kristen, is that I'm gonna say her name, so you can try and say tracker's name with <laughs> over you. <laughs> the clump. Okay, great. Hair. Ready? <laughs> okay, but actually, everyone could everyone just look away. I'm just private. I'm gonna okay. straight it. Okay. We're going facing the van wall. Everyone, <laughs> well, please do, okay? okay I fine. just look at Tracker's hair. Come on, Tracker. Come on, Tracker. Tracker! Tracker! Tracker doesn't have a Tracker. last name. Tracker. She does O'Shaughnessy. No, I know, but I didn't. I thought you were saying her name three times. No, I didn't just oh, yeah. say my name Hilda. once. Hilda. Hilda. <laughs> Hilda. Ida Eggport. Um, uh, you say Ida Eggfort, um, uh, does Adine cast scrying? Um, well, doesn't the feather contact we, Ida? The feather does contact Ida. You sense a link between the feather and Ida that would make scrying even easier. Oh, so it didn't, I thought it was going to summon her. It did, she said it would. Um, mm. I'm so sorry, but I there's four of them with Ida. No, of course. Yeah, I understand. And Tracker, I trust. Yeah, really. It I sucks. really. I know. Yeah, yeah, I'm I so get sorry. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Um. Okay, I'll, I'll cast scrying on the feather. Um, Adine extends her orb out in front of you, and you're holding the feather, and you see a reflection of yourself in Adine's orb. Adine's eyes go white. Her hair lifts up. You're holding the feather in front of you. It is glowing so brightly. That is not the right music. I was gonna say, no, I think she's doing okay. Like so I think she's doing okay. She's on vacation. Just on a beach. Wait, oh, is wow. she hooking up a, with my mom? A guitar. Um, <laughs> wow, your mom really gets around. Sandra Lynn, come on, leave one um, person for me. In, um, in, in the orb, you see part of the forest in pitch darkness. Only you, if a human were looking into this, mm -hmm. they would see nothing. Okay. Um, you guys are, see, are peering with your dark vision into the orb. Um, you see webs of vines and this maze of trees. You see off in the distance, um, a blue-skinned, eight and a half foot tall angel um, that has a puka shell necklace, uh, huge wings spread up behind him, um, being strangled by vines, spread up like in a spider's web. Um, you see that the vines have gone into his eyes, gone into his mouth, into his nose, are pulling it open and he is suspended there. Um, that is in the background. 
in the foreground no. uh, Ida's celestial heritage puts her in this horrifying gallery of captured angels. You see her with vines all around her. Um, you see that the vines uh, have not gone into her eyes because they would burn upon contact with them. Um, but you see that uh, her uh, hands are bound and her mouth is, they haven't gone into her mouth, but it's wrapped around the lower half of her mouth. <clears throat> Uh, so you know, no verbal somatic components, no cool. spell casting. Um, you see that she is furiously weeping, and as you hold the thing and say, Ida Eggfort, you see that a little empty spot in her wing glows. And you see that as it does, she <laughs> and you see some of the vines snap and then wrap around and push her wrist back down. Um, she's holding something in her hand and you see she's trying just like so defeated but not giving up moving something back to her mouth so that she can speak into it um, there is a very small little earring in her hand there's a little bit like it was ripped out in a really painful like, way it looks like it was ripped out in a really hasty painful way Cool, I open up the, we're going back in, guys! We're going back in! Why right do you now. look so happy? It's like very manic. Mm -hmm. What? Because I just saw, look, first off, you don't want to scry on tracker. Don't do it. Second okay. off, does everyone have anything? Because we're going back in. Yeah, I think we should right. go yeah. back in. Right, right now. Back okay, in. let's do it. Let's do it. I, 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 I just remembered that. Look, I go to the Tinkers Hall, uh, tink, Tinkers Hall, and I'm like, you guys can have the keys to the van. <laughs> I uh, I think it, they're in the van. Uh, maybe I'll come back and buy it one day. We have a van too. <laughs> yeah. What? I just feel like I think I I told Happy you guys. Happy Tinkamus. I bought it with money, so it's probably bad. Oh. Um, I don't know. Wow. That's the. I think I'm yes. good. Okay. All right, let's okay. go. Let's if that's go. the case, I guess I take my bank account with my touring money and give it to them as well. <laughs> Uh, they Here's don't have a way of ex information. <laughs> I need to go, okay? <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Laptops for seniors. Laptops for seniors. That's what I, I get my money to. Do they have a film camera? They don't. They're way behind oh. Solace technology. Here. As an artificer, I can make something record a six second message. Yeah, absolutely. I, uh, like magically. So I'm just going to pick up a rock and put that on there just in case. <laughs> Cool, awesome. Um, uh, you give the cool. van away, you get on your thing and give away. So Fig, has go, who is a famous rock star, is f zeroed out. Other than your personal effects, you are uh, broke. Um, uh, so. Um, cool, is everyone all tied up? Can we go back into the forest? Let's yeah, do it. Let's go to the forest. Let's do it. Okay, uh, are you going in, where are you going into the forest? Um, did I? Was there any sort of, can I do a perception check can to I see if the there's feather any, like a metal detector? Yeah, is there, is, is there anything from that um, that I could maybe use to triangulate their position a little bit within, like the sun's position or the way that the moss is growing on the trees or something you, There's like that. nothing from the outside that's gonna let you peer inside the forest. The only, the only lead you have is that temple, that there is a temple and that's the, that's the only place that you know goes further in uh, that would help you. Okay. Um, to the temple? Temple it is. Temple. Let's do it. Um, Let's do it. Temple it up. Um, uh, the hangman um, takes you to uh, the edge of the forest. Um, and master, bad kids. Fare thee well in the forest of the Nightmare King. You walk through the open portal. Um, uh, as you enter, you see that a flight of ravens in the trees, as you guys walk through, takes wing and flies off deeper into the forest. Can we, as we're walking along, I'm just gonna keep playing my counter charm. Cool. 
How many ravens were there? Can we try to shoot them? Um, uh, they, you can get one or two, but the flock flies off. Mm. They might just turn into spiders. Yeah, I think yeah. it's, yeah. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. What about that yeah. bird, though? Um, <laughs> I mean the vulture. <laughs> the vulture. <laughs> there's something up. There's something over there. Never vulture. trust a bird. Um, how how big is the forest? Like if I uh, if I cast locate creature, its duration is an hour, and it senses creatures within a thousand feet of me. Us running out from where we were. This morning. forest is it's huge, right? Larger it's, it's than really the nation big. of Solace. Okay, so like pretty big. Pretty All big. right, I won't cast it yet. Um, you guys venture into the forest. Um, I'm gonna need a group survival check. Oh, okay. Can Boggy give you the health action, please? Yes, he can, baby. He can so also much. grant the health action. Hey. That's twenty. 19. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Uh, 12. 13. Awesome. Um, you guys know your correct direction, so you will travel one of the two days it takes to get to the temple. Um, uh, you travel there. Um, the first night, uh, I'm gonna need, are you guys like, what do you do? Are you making shelter? Oh yes, we don't have oh, any sort of uh, protection in yeah. from our nightmares. I, I have to be honest, you guys should just tie me here. I, I'm apparently a really easy mark for Kalina. Well, and I also jumped into the waters of, outside of Leviathan. And, yeah. Uh, so it just feels like maybe it's shifts kind of slip for all of us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't have anything. I feel like oh. three, maybe we sleep in halves. Yeah, let's yeah. do that, and then we can tackle each other's bodies. Exactly. Cool. Um, can I, um, I before we go to separate. bed, cast Greater Restoration on Adine? Sure. Well, what for? I'm going to get it again, but I just don't fully trust that we're actually healed. Oh, gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. So, so like before you before you go to bed to regain the spell slot. Yeah, I'm about yeah. to regain that spell slot anyway, so I might as well just keep. Well, we don't know if we're gonna have an actual full night's rest. Oh yeah, that's true. Do we want to yeah, figure out how we want to split up this right. this um, potion, this tincture? Because I we have four of them. We right have now. four. Oh yeah, so that's I'm, well. So I'm good at hiding, so I figured. Feel like I should have at least one because I could yeah. probably avoid a lot. We've of got rock, sandalin, and. Tracker, is there anyone else who needs one? I mean, between us, like, I'll yeah. definitely take on one way. because oh, I would because like to find Tracker, tracker. and just. I could yeah, take one tour. just because my jacket, yeah. I feel like that it, it's harder for them to, like, okay. get stolen. How much right. do you think a dart gun would be? Would I be able to get that out of your jacket? Ooh, so you can I have dart a tranquilizer Because she's, you know. Uh, Riz, you could absolutely swap out the poison dose in one of your trank darts. Uh, yes, that's what we'll do for her. Cool. Yeah. Guys, if we see her running. Should we do it with all four of them? Yeah, I mean, we could make a bunch that's of darts with idea. one of them, maybe. I'll let you, actually, Riz, you and Gorgog, if you have the tinctures here, if you want to use your tinker tools check, yeah. I will let you attempt to, like, as a, as part of like a short rest as you're like bedding down Sweet. for the night, attempt to make some trank darts out of these two. If you want to do three, three, we'll leave we'll leave one just as in case. Yes, yeah, 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 as a backup. Can, right. can someone help me? I can help. Or? Yeah, I'll yeah, help. Yeah, I'll help you. Help. Exactly. Help. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, break. there's a tremendous advantage to having tinctures in a, in a dart, but also the risk is if you miss, you shatter a tincture against a yeah. tree somewhere. Right. So very, well, that's true. very useful. Maybe we just want two. Two. Yeah, let's do it. Well, we can always use it. Honestly, we only need one, right? It's a D8. Mm -hmm. yeah, a D8. DC is 15. Um, okay. Oh, we're about to rest. Uh, you, oh, you got it? Okay, so I got uh, 18. So that first night you're able to make one. Uh, okay, like, let's just leave one. Wait, let's just do yeah. one. Cool. So you have one tincture so three bullet. Three doses and one bullet. Um, and I'll keep my greater restoration. I won't do that. Yeah, cool. Just in case we don't sleep all the way. Um, so you guys get. Are there any rubies around? Uh, not that you can see. Hey, do it anyway. Um, I'm gonna do it anyways. Uh, so, <laughs> you guys bed happens, down die. for the night. You guys have bed rolls and stuff, but you, you don't have your ranger with you. You don't have tracker to make a moon haven. So, um, I'm gonna need a group survival check to like make a shelter. Okay, okay. making a shelter. Uh, hey, Goga, yeah? spring break, I believe in you. 
Hey. Dirty you. 20 again. I have a dirty 20 as oh, well. Cool. Um, I'll also give out some bardic inspiration. Ooh, nat 20. Yeah. What is nat this? 20. Bardic inspiration for both I people. really wanted to give you guys some levels of exhaustion, and I can't do that. You guys. Uh, remember a bunch of classes in like in, <laughs> in like the earlier part of sophomore year that from like the ranger teacher giving an assembly like now you won't always have a ranger with you so it's important to know you gotta get your body warm it, 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 like, okay. she was so hot <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember everything she said I don't think I went cool. I, think I, um, I don't think I went no I levels of exhaustion uh, however I, w I do need to know how you guys are sleeping Shifts of, okay. shifts, shifts of three. Shifts of three. Yeah. 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 So, me and you shouldn't sleep at the same time. Because we may. Okay. I have. Just because I could probably do the best. Why don't I stay? I'll stay up first, because maybe I'll record you guys with my necktie while you guys. Okay. Are. Okay. What? Think, Man. Okay. Agree. <laughs> Not like um, that. I think I'm You're gonna, gonna go stay up and record shift. us while we sleep. Okay. I'm gonna <laughs> go with the first shift. Time. Just know I I fail these a lot. Can I give you a bardic before I go to bed? Will that work? Yeah, you can get a take okay, a bardic. I'll give you a bardic too. Oh, look at that. I guess we're uh, exchanging bardics. Uh, then I'll sleep in the first shift. OK, great. Yeah. Cool. And then you'll stay, so you'll stay so, up. So uh, Spring Break, I believe in you. Uh, you already spring, gave me one. I already gave you one. I already hey, have one. Spring I have Break, one. I believe in you. So we're the Thank three you. staying up. Great. Yeah. Okay. OK. So for we're everyone sleeping. to get a full eight hours of rest, um, uh, you, OK, cool. Uh, who are the first four to go to sleep? Raise your hand. First three. First three to go to sleep. Wait, Wait three? Oh. I thought I was going. Okay, okay you go. One other person. Okay. Oh no, no, sorry, me. You can record. Okay, Kristen, okay. Fabian, and Fig. Um, I'm going to need all of you guys to <clears throat> give me a wisdom saving throw. I've written down that I have advantage on that. Is that from oh, something before? Fun. Maybe someone gave me that. Maybe help you? I don't think you have an ability yeah, to give me that. I, that was just I do. Amazing. So you are. Yeah, I did. I, uh, and and I'm going to do, as, as they fall asleep, I'm going to do detect evil and good cool. on them. Uh, I'm, I got a 10. I also got a 10. You got a 10. <laughs> you got a 10. <laughs> um, Fuck me. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna 19. give Fig a uh, 16 divination roll because I'm about to fall asleep, and it turns into a 17. 17. 10. 10. 19. 19. Cool. Did you add my bardic? I did. Okay. Um, hey, at least it's just me. Uh, Fig. Um, you're sleeping in hmm. bad dreams. Um. You are looking ahead. You're in a like hot red cave, like a dragon's lair, or some pit of hell. Um, you hear voices all around you, your voices again. Wow, looks like Ida's not having a very good time. I wonder if your mom would be sad that you didn't scry on her. Probably. Maybe Galir's fine back in Arborly. Probably not, though. Okay. And what would you have done differently? Um, a 13-year-old Fig Faith walks out from behind the corner. Um, pink cardigan. Uh, a like sunflower pattern skirt, um, no horns on her head, just a happy young wood elf walks out and says, I wouldn't have been in this situation in the first place. Uh, yeah, you would have because your forehead's about to burst. <laughs> wow. Oh, my <laughs> forehead's about to burst. But listen, maybe you should consider the fact that there are like variables and constants. Everyone okay. in your life mm -hmm. has bad shit happen to them. What's the thing they all have in common? Eggford Adventuring Academy. <laughs> <laughs> um, go ahead and uh, I'm gonna say that, uh, uh, give me a, Give me like a wisdom saving throw. Oh. 19. Um, 
this is bullshit. This is you as a little kid. You can feel that there are, uh, you feel the glyph glowing in on your forehead. Um, you can get out of here if you want. You don't have to take this shit. The thing is that I'm happier than you are. You may talk like you think you know what's up, but you are so much more confused than I am. I am the truthful version of me. You are just, honestly, a poor idea of someone else. <laughs> she bursts into flame. Uh, Fig, you gain the cutting words ability. Um, oh. uh, and your previous uh, class feature vanishes. Um, uh, the rocks crumble, and you are standing on a blasted plane under a sky of fire. Uh, you feel a deeper understanding start to come to you, and you hear a voice you haven't heard in a long time. Hey there, kiddo. Are you okay? I'm far away. I, my power is being used by other people. I know. I'm really sorry. I'm the one who did it to you. No. No, sweetheart, you didn't. I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. I got the base that you got me for Christmas. It's for your birthday. Uh, my birthday's on Christmas, remember? <laughs> it's not your birthday or Christmas. Oh, yeah. It's spring break. <laughs> <laughs> just, your birthday's so... Uh, you opened it. Well, I guess it's better for, for that. Um, oh, don't, don't. Don't shatter the ruby that I'm in. Why? Well, because uh, there's a there's a contingency effect in oh, here. It's, okay. It'll if you shatter the ruby, you gotta someone's gotta come into the gem with me and break this curse and then shatter away. Okay. Um, I have just a person who can help make that happen. Um, you see, he says, "Really? Who's the person?" Cool. Someone I met. Cool. <laughs> a cool someone that you met. <laughs> hey, hey, sweetheart. Say no more. <laughs> um, he looks at you, um, and you see he says, no. so much of my feelings of guilt are about how much the course of your life was impacted by just me being your father. Your horns, being a tiefling. Gordal, I, I gotta tell you, I'm really starting to dig the horns. He looks at you and says, have you ever questioned where your power really comes from? Like you mean hell? Hell and being a devil. Yeah, I mean, it's crossed my mind, but it's kind of one of those things that I don't want to dig too deeply because. As you say, don't want to dig too deeply, you begin to hear those whispers come back. Uh, okay, just tell me, where does my power come from? Tell me so I can own it and embrace it and love it. Um, Gorthalax, speaks and says, tyranny, domination, conquest, all the virtues of hell. <laughs> These don't have to be yours. Oh, God, God. You see, he says, there is something earlier than this that all the devils of hell have forgotten. I was a fallen angel. The devils of hell forgot what started their desire for power, what started their desire for domination. You see that he looks back and says, Fig, you don't need my permission to define what hell means. You're an archdevil. <laughs> you get to decide. And what you see in the distant past at the birth of the Great Wheel 
is the very first angel that fell from grace as the gods of light cast them down, flew back and went, fuck you! <laughs> he says, being a devil before all this bullshit meant rebellion. And it hasn't meant that in a long time. And it can still mean that. There's a lot of rebellion in this <laughs> one. So I think I can help redefine that. Um, you see ancient histories that like the current, the current like government of archdevils has done its best to erase, which was before even the existence of the prime material or like at the dawn of the prime material, it was perdition. It was angels that wanted to rebel against the light that were cast into fire and then developed evil as like a response to that. And you see that uh, all of this hellish knowledge comes. I think that like, you know, Fig has never really questioned where her powers come from. Like, obviously like Kristen uses wisdom and that's all about a, like a, a fucked in the head quest for like religious meaning. Adine like literally gets it from books. And you go to this deep thing of like innate magic and you realize that like it's, n your power has never come from uh, your like bloodline from your dad. That's like a cool part of your history and something you can embrace. It comes from rebellion. Your power comes from your ability to literally magically flip the cosmos off. <laughs> you know, people say rebellion's a phase, but it's a lifestyle for me. <laughs> um, you transmogrify your subclass to College of Lore. <laughs> counterspell, counterspell, counterspell! <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, 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 as you guys uh, uh, sort of like shift and awaken, um, uh, um, cool. Uh, we come back to uh, Silver um, as we do. Um, Kristen, uh, Fig, Fabian, you guys wake up. What do you guys do? Oh, okay. Tag, you guys are in. Yeah, go to bed. Great. Okay. Good luck. I'm gonna in there. take a nice I just video had a of you. Great time. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I, nothing was super super bad happened. Uh, the tie looks really good over the tie dye. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm just wearing Riz's tie over my tie dye shirt. Um, uh, Fabian, go ahead and give me a perception check with advantage. Oh, okay. That's normal. Kristen doesn't look good in the tie. <laughs> uh, perception? Yeah. Fifteen. Uh, cool. Um, um, as, you, as you guys are, as the other ones are sort of like bedding out a little bit, um, uh, you uh, can see like, um, it looks like Boggy the Owl has like sort of like noticed something off in the, uh, like off in the forest. Uh, and you see uh, a tricorn pirate hat there. Um. Uh, how far off is it? It's like literally, it's it's like anyone could see. You could like walk 10 feet and pick it up. Uh, Adine, do you see that? Sorry, that doesn't, uh, uh, Fabian doesn't say Adine. Um, that was all a ruse uh, to get you to walk away from everybody. Fabian is uh, fully possessed and uh, walks, uh, it begins to walk into the forest. Uh, some, uh, are, we who's, who's who's are we asleep? Who's awake right now? Um, uh, the, well, everyone's awake because this is happening as, oh, the, as okay. the guard is shifting. Can you, okay. can you hey, jump him? Fabian, uh, what's up? What's going there's on? A hat. Uh, there's a hat. Someone just needs uh, to grab I him. I just got to grab him. Gonna, yeah. Hey, let go. I uh, grabbed him. I want to get the hat. Hey, <laughs> uh, Fabian, go ahead and attack Wardrug for me. Oh! I'm going to shoot him with the net bullet. At, okay. as uh, that's only a 14. Uh, uh, I'm going to need you to take both attacks on him. Great. It's a 14. Which dice are rolling the worst? Uh, and then that is a 23. Cutting words! Uh, uh, right? I, Can I do that on the it would, On the 43, it gonna... would work. You, oh, sorry, on the 14 attack. So My you, armor class is 14. Yeah, he hits Gorgug on both attacks. So, But if you do cutting words, you automatically cancel the first yeah. attack. So you cancel that one. The, the next one's 23, that yeah. hits. Uh, and I'm going to need you to load this up. How hard? As hard as you can. Okay. Can I go to a, into a rage? Uh, uh, on your turn. Do you want me to use? Uh, do you want me to use maneuvers and such? Use maneuvers and such. Great. Uh, we'll use... um, wait. Uh, he got a two on that second roll. 
Oh, so Fabian attacks twice. Nothing happens. Woo! Um, uh, oh, nice. Gorga, go ahead and give me. A, you can go into a rage now and okay. give me in opposed athletics to grapple. Fabian. I want the hat. <laughs> hey, do we have I want that tranquilizer? The hat. judge. It's, it's just the a hat. judge. The hat, uh, that's a twenty-six. Twenty-six. Cool. Give me an athletics check opposed. Come on. I don't want to do well, but I don't want to look lame. That's all. Oh, that's a seventeen. Wow. Cool. Gorgok, you kicked his ass. <laughs> Thank God you're okay. stronger than him. Uh, uh, Spellcasters and other people, what are we doing? Uh, what the heck? I want to shoot him with the net. Shoot him with the net. Um, I think in a grapple you would hit Gorgug as uh, go, go for it. Roll and tackle. Uh, actually, I think creature. I... Oh, so I need to hit first. Got it. Oh, I'm just going to lay the axe down on top of him. <laughs> What's your strength? Oh, yeah. My strength is 14. <laughs> Uh, you lay the axe on top of him. Uh, Fabian, you are restrained <laughs> under the axe. <laughs> do, I get, do I get advantage? Uh, you do get advantage, okay, yeah. Uh, sweet. Uh, 22. Definitely hits. Uh, you're gonna see that a fucking net <laughs> explodes out of Riz's gun, cool. wraps around Fabian, and entangles him under the axe. You are full is done. There, can I, I do the an arcana There's no check? hat. Yeah, can, is this yeah. a magical effect on Fabian? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, okay, can I cast Dispel Magic on him? Uh, yes, you can, but you're gonna have to give me a, uh, a raw intelligence check to do so. I'm okay, uh, raging so much. Stop, it. Stop it, Stop it, you want dumb that? asshole. I want the hat! <laughs> you're an idiot, there's Stop. no hat. Let me have it! trying to kill Gordon. Let can I bardic inspiration this intelligence check? Uh, yes, you can. Bardic inspiration, add a d8. Great. Um, uh, 18. Uh, 18, uh, 18 successfully does it. Okay, great. Um, uh, ow! What was it? <laughs> why, why would it, take this axe off of me? Fabian, why are you what looking for a hat? What are you, you talking about? about? You, you tried to kill Gorgug. For a hat. No, I, what? No. You were possessed. Yeah. What? You kept talking about a hat. Yeah, it's not even like you saw him as some evil person. It's just you thought you saw a hat and you then tried to kill one of our friends. You didn't even describe what Fabian, kind of uh, uh, you didn't have any control over your actions. Yes. The spell was making you act like you, all of the like find the hat stuff, that was the spell. You yeah. don't have an experience of, of, of willingly doing any of that. Can I do an arcana check to see if this is an effect of the forest or if somebody cast the spell on him? Uh, give me an arcana check. Great, can I use Boggy to yes, help you? Yes, you can. Thank you. Ah, oh, that's hot. Um, 24. Um, 24. The spell was cast on Fabian. It was not an ambient effect of whatever. Mm -hmm. um, look, you know what this is. This is what was happening to you guys in Solace. Um, uh, the only reason, the only thing that's changed, this, you don't think this one is the forest. You think it's stronger in the forest. Okay. But uh, this was what made Fig uh, capture um, that. Uh, uh, you have fairy fire, right? I do. Can you? Cast fairy fire and see if there's anybody invisible. Uh, I mean, if you'll untie me from this net and take this big axe off me, yes, I will. I'll get the axe. <laughs> uh, I'll get the axe. Okay, okay. I'll show you have to be no <laughs> axe. Cool. Uh, is there, is there a <laughs> general direction you'd like me to cast it in? Um, is is there a general direction <laughs> that I would like him um, to cast it in? Twenty foot cube. A, oh, it's only a twenty foot cube. It's not gonna do much. No. The direction the hat yeah. was in? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, can I use the sheet and cast fairy fire yeah. in the direction of the hat? You cast a bunch of sparks out from your elven battle sheet, and um, uh, well, we can't all have a big axe, all right? <laughs> Some of us have a battle sheet. Can I? Can I? Oh wow, your battle sheet's really heavy. Yeah, I guess yes. I don't understand what a battle sheet is. But, uh, well, uh, we. Look, why don't you? A million elves, thousands of miles away, are so offended right now. <laughs> um, I, don't know. I like uh, the sheet. It says a proud history. <laughs> um, uh, you cast very far. Nothing. Um, n you don't. Okay. See any creatures in it? Um, what the tray? Uh, you, again, we got 24 Arcana check. Um, this is what worked on Fig. And you, your mind goes back to the fact that um, Riz, on that first night, before you guys started being careful, before you started doing Moonhaven stuff, mm -hmm. before you started taking care of that kind of thing, Riz didn't get possessed. 
But Riz also didn't go to sleep that night and right. instead got attacked by something physical. Right. Um, you're not sure what that means here, but um, in any case, um, are, you guys have used some of your resources. Now, obviously, a couple of you guys are like waiting to take a long rest. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but the three of you that, w if the three of you woke up that used anything, like Bardic Inspiration or other stuff, that, was, that was used. But I think your stuff mostly comes back on a short, yeah, rest, short rest, right? Yeah. So you'll be okay. Yeah. Um, cool, next three go to sleep. Give me some wisdom, uh, some wisdom rolls. Can I uh, have a Oh, yeah. do you still have those Bardics? I actually I, have, you have one. I had three left, and I I'm have, gonna get I a short rest, still. so I give each yes, of you one. I, yeah, okay, oh. well, yours well, are better than mine. Cool. Uh, Can I just okay. be underneath Gorgug's axe as I sleep, <laughs> as I trance? Uh, I uh, that will be very painful and uncomfortable okay. and not allow you to trance. Well, okay. All right, wisdom. Can Boggy yes. help me? Ooh. Um, Boggy uh, can help D8? me, yes. D8, D8 yeah. Good lord. I got. Give uh, a D8. D8. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's going to help me that much. I got a 24. Hell Good yeah. lord. Well. It's a 7. Uh, I got a 15. Uh, you got a 15? Cool. Yeah. Um, uh, Something tells me there's going to be a couple more hats. <laughs> uh, so guys, tempting. They're so cool. Uh, you guys wake up. Um, uh, the, the through the night in the nightmare forest, nothing happens. Um, uh, as you guys move through, um, and again, I think you guys are like taking a lot of care to on that. You have a bunch of like nat twenties on that thing, so you're like heavily disguised. You're like up in the canopy somewhere. You've like made sure because you know this forest is dangerous. But I will mm -hmm. say, even as bad as it is here, you know from what your visions have been that you're still in the like entry level like easy mode version of the Nightmare Forest. Um, you guys all wake up. Uh, you're all fine. Um, um, you guys slept well? Okay. I actually slept pretty well. You especially, Riz. Yeah. You slept well? I, feel like I, I woke up and just slapped Gorgug really hard. <laughs> Wait, are you possessed again? No, I just wanted to make sure you weren't. Are you good? Why did you do that? I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. You all right? Um, wow, Fabian, you're so strong. We could have had a conversation. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just la I woke up underneath an axe in a net. Wait, are there spells? I should stop. Oh, God. Um, cool. Um, f uh, Adine got a full trance in. Uh, for everybody else, unless you're taking like many multiple hours to sleep in shifts, um, you're not really getting a full night's sleep. Uh, just give me literally a DC five constitution check. Me included? Uh, uh, Fabian Four. included, yeah. All right, little beans. Ooh. Oh, I got it. Hey. Hey, that's a I 17. Got I got 18. Nine. Cool. Um, great, great, great. Um, uh, so, um, yeah, uh, uh, so you guys avoid exhaustion. These rolls will become harder as you don't get full nights of sleep. Okay. Um, uh, you guys continue. Go ahead and give me a survival check for the next day as you venture deeper. How the beans do? Bad. <laughs> a dirty twenty again. Uh, now, okay, wait. I can't re-roll your thing. I got a now so, one. Is it too late to give? We well, did a bad job over here too. Um, uh, yeah, I, got a I, I would allow you to give. Okay. Well, Bart it's in that one. Uh, I don't know yeah. if I'm. Uh, uh, I got a five. Five. I don't think that's gonna. You be got a nat one as well. No, I have a uh, seven. Seven. Bardic could save you. Yep. Take a Bardic. Uh, I got an 11. D8. 11. I got a nine. Nine. Okay. Jeez Louise. Wait. I know. Okay. Hey, there we go. Uh, yeah, great. The, uh, no, that's not, no. Uh, 14. 13. 14. Yeah. Uh, 18. Oh. Or excuse me, 19. 19. What did Riz get? Five. Five. Oof. 13. 13. 19. 19. What did Adan get? 14. 14. Boy. 30, 20. 30, 20. Okay. I have plus five, but it's an L. Um, uh, did you roll that with advantage? I no? did, yeah, because okay, cool. of Because of baby, baby. gotcha. <laughs> um, you guys uh, are not going the wrong way, but you don't make the smartest decisions about how to get through the forest. Uh, it really slows you down. Like, the sun rises and falls. If you want, you can either 
like allow more time to get away from you and just make shelter and try again the next day, or you can push through I the think night. Let's press on. Let's just keep going. So Agreed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, Riz, do you think that maybe I could carry the gun with the antidote in it? Just, I'm really looking for tracker as we walk around. Like maybe, maybe she'll run past us at some point, and I can try to. Sure. I ju do you think you would be able to hit her? Um, or maybe we can just gun. make a code and I'll say like the code word. Yeah. How about and, the code uh, word is tracker? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, um, tracker can't shooter. Can't you just yeah. use your spell? <laughs> yeah. Uh, huh? Can't you just use your spell? No, I mean, she might be like running full werewolf speed, sure. so like a dart gun would definitely hit her yeah. before. Cool. Uh, you guys press through the night. Give me another group survival check. <sighs> oh. Okay. Hey. 13. 22. 22. 16. 16. 16 as well. 16. 16. Okay, group check makes it. Uh, now the last thing I'm gonna need from you guys as you push through the night is uh, another constitution check. This time it's a DC 10. Is this something that I can use baby for? Is it a saving throw or just a check? This is a saving throw, constitution okay. saving throw. 12. 17. 18. Yeah, can I use, can I use buggy? You can use yeah. buggy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 21. 18. Uh, 16. Everyone beats 10? Yeah. Cool. Great. Um, you guys push through. You're pushing yourselves. It's good. You didn't get a lot of sleep last night. This forest is really hard. You've been like marching through the woods all day. You push through the vines mm -mm. and see a large temple. It is made of not hewn stone. It's not mortared together. It is literally domes of like boulders and smooth flat rocks bound by roots and trees. This was shaped by druids. It is a sprawling hive of rocks and natural wood. You see the large rooted archway and you see that over the archway is a shattered plinth as though something that stood above the doorway here was taken down long ago. You see bones litter the forest floor around here. And as you look at them, you see they are centuries old. The earth having mostly swallowed them up, just hints of white coming up from the earth. As you walk, you see that all of the bones are arranged ceremonially. If you had to guess whether these bodies were brought here or whether these people simply laid down here and died, you would guess the latter. Can I do some sort of check to see if, once we get closer, if they're gonna come to life? Uh, go ahead and make a, uh, you can make uh, an arcana or a religion check. Can I also make a religion check to see if the thing that was broken down from the archway, if it was this, like, the moon goddess's sister, this, like, unnamed? Give me a religion check, yeah. Um, I, I did get a that one. Um, these, uh, these things are not going to pop up. They already popped up. Um, they're in hiding right now. <laughs> Everyone. Shh, be quiet, but there are skeletons everywhere. What? Uh, can I do an investigate check to try to see if um, there's any signs of tracker around? Like uh, any, th any signs yeah, of Yeah, give me an investigation check. Yeah. Can I look at where the plinth, the plinth is not the statue itself that was broken You up. don't even see a statue. The plinth is, is okay. just the base of it. Gotcha. Um, uh, 12. 12. Uh, because you just said it to me, yes. Um, that is an, I, uh, uh, Church of Helio is all about taking down false idols, but you think this one was taken down by its own followers mm -hmm. in whatever cataclysm happened during, the, like after they destroyed their goddess and during the like aftermath of the last Sylvan War and then the rise of the Nightmare King. Are these, can I tell from the skeletons if these are high elf or wood elf? 
you would have to start excavating some of them. Oh, they're like in, they're like under oh, they're the ground. So, they're I centuries old, like... so the ground, like just like foliage oh, just, just created like... soil around them. Oh, okay, great. Um, but um, you can, you can uh, look more. Um, actually, anyone wants you to make I mean, an... Can I do an identity, can I cast the identify spell on one of these skeletons? Is that, it's an object. It is an object, oh. yeah. The identify will only work if it's a magical object. So if it's just normal okay. remains, it won't work. Um, That'll tell us if it's a skeleton. I got a 19 out of the uh, you see, uh, from the exact direction you guys just walked in, three sets of footprints walking in here, a couple of days old. Oh. Um, oh. Um, okay. You see they are halfway to the door, are joined by a fourth set of footprints. Are Do they cat see... prints? Or are they your... Dad? They could or... be my dad, they could be the Nightmare King. Wait, but we lost three friends, right? True. We lost that is true. Uh, true. We lost three, no, we lost. <clears throat> Didn't well, three friends there? who would maybe be walking? Uh, are they bird prints? What, what? Uh, they, are, they are. They are. They are. Boot, they are boot prints. They are the not paws prints. or talons okay. or anything. But okay. we don't okay. see footprints coming out. Um, coming uh, out. On a nineteen investigation, you do not. Okay. Hmm. Did the the fourth set of prints come from the circle of skeleton? Uh, the fourth set of prints simply appears, which is a clue in and of itself. Okay, so that would hmm. be a wizard or teleportation. Like well, flying. but you can't teleport in unless you have the permission of a devil. But if, what if, if they? But if they, have, they, they have they have Orthalax in a gem, <clears throat> and they have but the gem. Don't in you that need to use the gem to get through the wall? So I I don't think that they would be able to get somebody in using the gem. I think, I think that they, they need are to be like using controlling the gem. a devil's will. Yeah, because you're. Oh. Yeah, we don't know that, but yeah. did in your I, did, you're, you're, I mean, you guys can make an Arcana check about it if you'd like to. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do one in case. Oh uh, yeah, this is twenty-four again. Um, uh. Teleportation doesn't work like like direct travel. It it interacts with dimensions in an interesting way. Okay. So you think that because a teleport doesn't move from from one space to another in a line, that in other words, opening a barrier would be, in the same if Killian was able to open the Briar Wall, uh -huh. he would have been able to open an allowance for a teleportation, a dimension door, a plane shift, something okay. like that. Didn't your mom say in that letter, like... Yeah, come and join me. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah, which I'm assuming is my dad, but it, there was no That's clear... That's true. That's true. We don't <laughs> even... I mean, I don't know if my dad is dead. Yeah. Um, the random person. Can I howl... Just as loud as I can. No. no. I give, no. I give Chris a help action to howl as loud. <laughs> um, you as guys, you can howl if you'd like. You guys see the tracks going into the temple. Let's just go into Let's the temple. You don't want me to howl tracks. really loud? No, what if I, I will give you a help action. Then a werewolf will come back yeah. uh, I could cast okay. Locate Creature on Tracker to see if Tracker is in, within a thousand feet of here. Yeah, please. And then we can walk into the temple. Yeah. One. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah because if, for a while. if we run the Yeah, it's tracker, concentration, but it lasts for up to one hour. Let's do it. You can do it on your family, too. Also, we do it. Yes, but it's only one person. You could do it on your family. That makes more sense. Do it on your mom. Uh, who are you casting it on? Your mom. Um, yeah, I'll do it on my mom. Cool. You cast Locate Creature for your mom. Uh, wherever she is, she's beyond a thousand feet. These tracks are a couple days old. Okay. Shall we? Are we shall we head in? Stealthing in. into? Yeah, let's stealth are we just walking in a little. Yeah. Do you guys <laughs> yeah. want me to go ahead, and then I can give you guys a signal? Yes. I have, have disadvantage. Cool. Okay. I have advantage on Dex saves, just in case that matters. Cool. But I, only I mean, I have really good way. stealth. Yeah, yeah. I don't have good stealth. Cool. We'll be right behind. Can you hand me the um, antidote? Um, just a dark? post? Just this. Just one, po just one I potion. I think you should just you let him keep it. He's going to be a way better I'm shot. I'm just thinking, what you. if he disappears then we have, and then I see Tracker? Yeah, yeah, how, so. how about we, I just make you have great restoration? Who has that? I give out the potions. I all I have is the one dart. Great. If I see Tracker, I will shoot her. I think we keep Okay, and I'm not going to help. Okay. No. And Boggy can help you with a stealth check. Riz is going to stealth in? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and give me stealth, my dude. Give me You're gonna should be good at stealth. Give me stealth. Uh, with the beans? I can't believe you. Give me the beans! Man. Give me the beans, You're boys. You're a madman. Yeah! That is a 28. Oh, yeah. 
Riz is a shadow. Um, uh, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Ooh. Okay. I'm not gonna push my luck with the give beans the on beans. this one. That's a bad 20. Oh! Um, you guys are uh, on a nat 20 investigation. Um, uh, you uh, case this place in like, well, I don't know, like eight minutes. You guys are outside for about eight minutes. Just like tense looking around. Um, Riz, on a 28 stealth and a nat 20, which how high is a nat 20 investigation for you? Um, that is a 30. Uh, which oh. is the DC for what they say are <laughs> nearly impossible tasks. Um, so um, you go in, uh, this temple is completely ruined. Like the book you found in the Compass Points library uh, indicated this place it used to be a temple of like all of that, like all the tribes of Silvera could come to, Centaur, Treant, Sprite, and Wood Elf. Outside, you guys now see that um, the bones, some of them are tiny, like bird-like, and you see that they're the bones of fairies. Others are like large and warm, these like centaur skeletons. And if you look around, you see, by the way, uh, none of the trees around here have leaves on them. They're all just like empty. And then you realize these are not trees. These are the dead bodies of treants. These are living trees that came here and died. Wow. Um, uh, you find a, like, uh, a room in the center that has a burnt brick of ash that you recognize as dusk moss. Um, a ritual took place here um, on a nat 20 investigation. Um, you know that dusk moss has hallucinogenic properties. Dreams and illusions are partially real here. Mm. Uh, there's a bunch of, of uh, arcane writings here that you can't read. There's other like spell shit that happened here. But you know a ritual happened here. Um, and the tracks lead uh, through the maze of this temple towards what was a direction it was almost impossible for you guys to go in. You think that there's like another level of like defense into the forest moving past here that this ritual kind of like allowed them to unlock. Um, uh, on a nat 20 investigation as well, um, you see that there is a chamber off to the side of this place um, that has uh, a what at first looks like a skeletal horse, but an extremely great, uh, graceful, sort of like slender horse. Uh, and then you see that there is a uh, horn coming out of the front of its head. Um, uh, the skeleton of this unicorn is filled with webs. And you see egg sacs of spiders all throughout its body. Um, this creature died looking at a portrait of a woman in a black gown with flowing black hair. Um, uh, you look up and see that a blast of magic struck the stone where the face was, and there is just a white chalky crater where the face of this being should be. Um, You, uh, I guess I will. There, oh, sorry, uh, last thing, stacks of uh, tomes and books have been left in that chamber where the ritual was performed. Oh, cool. Um, I'm definitely going to use the necktie. Um, I get 20 minutes of audio and video. I definitely want to get the picture. Um, and I guess I want to get the runes of the magic spell or whatever was done. Cool. And then I want to come back with a bunch of books. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Go shopping? Did you go shopping? There was a dead unicorn with spiders in it um, pointing at a faceless woman um, and Are people okay? were doing drugs in there. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Oh. It was weird. What are these books? Uh, I don't know. Can I look at the books? Yeah, can I look at the books too? Oh. Can I, let's, oh. before we open them, Let's do an arcana check on the books. Oh, yeah. Let's do like an insight to see if they're yeah. bad. Uh, give me, yeah. Give me, uh, what's the insight? 10. 10. 
uh, there is there they are bad in that they are uh, f dusty old nasty books of of what looks like kind of evil magic. Anyone has asthma? A nineteen. Arcana check. 19 Arcana check. On a 19, you're gonna need like more time to like look at these and really unpack Can them. I do a you would also, you would need to, the, uh, a lot of this shit is research that was missing from your mom's research you got back from Calethriel Tower. Mm -hmm. You would need to go to the chamber to see which of these runes they actually used. Otherwise, these books are just so dense for you to look through. This I is a strange alive question, but. You said that there was like a face that was destroyed. Yeah. Were there pieces of it on the ground? Could we mend it and put the face back together to see what it looked like? Should we go I in didn't there? See, I didn't see anyone, but I was pretty sneaky. Nobody would have seen me, mm. but mm. we could try. I, I didn't, I didn't see I mean, anybody. my mom isn't within a thousand feet of here, so I don't think that they're still here. It, it, How would they have gotten out though? Is there a back door or something? Let's look for a It looks like they hallucinated, and because dreams are real here, they were able to go somewhere else. So I think but we, we, we have the moss, right? Yeah, we right? can they do like the same lucid thing. Dream could we look out? through all these books and see if maybe they tell us exactly what to do? Yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to okay. do drugs. <clears throat> Doing drugs in a forest where dreams are real gonna do sounds. Drugs. I think really. that. Uh, only I should look at the books. Okay. Because if the books are dangerous, I I have I'm I'm the best at at uh, reading magical books. Then it's just me who's done it. If I get messed up by them, then you can help me. If more than one person looks at them, then okay. I yeah. just I just want to keep us safe. Cool. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. You add a, so you guys go towards the chamber where the ritual took place. Um, uh, you, off of this is the chapel, is the place that had the image of the goddess. Adam, you said that, go ahead and give me another uh, arcana check, if you'd be so kind. When Adam is going through the books, can I play counter, can I counter charm, just to so yeah, you sit charmed or anything like that? Uh, I'm, uh, I have advantage on charm, but I fear yeah, so I'll, I'll play just to make you feel bold. Um, uh, you see, you see your, your friend. Uh, you see your friend Adine. Uh, you see your friend Adine there, um, uh, reading these books, very selflessly, being like, "I want to do this scary thing alone, so that none of you get hurt." And you look up and see your friend Fig, uh, who uh, has got your back as always and is playing her bass. Um, and I have I'm my really... neck gun pointed at you. <laughs> <laughs> Riz, displaying friendship in Riz's own way. Um, uh, uh, I see you and I appreciate um, you. As they're doing that in the chamber, um, uh, Kristen, go ahead and give me a religion check. Cool. Guess what? What's that? What do you think? What do you think, dude? What do you think? Just guess. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Guess, dude. On, on International DMs Day. <laughs> on International <laughs> DMs Day. I'm letting you Crunch tell your up. story. Honestly, you still got to do 12? You just want you to suck on a little bit. Suck on a little bit. Read out whatever you prepare, dude. Read out whatever you prepare. Because we figured it out. I hope it's got dust all over it. Yeah. I put it on a piece of paper, and there's a little bit of paper on it. I'm sorry. Uh, here's, uh, so you get a nat 20 religion check. Um, you're in the chapel, uh, you guys are in the, so one, two, three are in the chamber. Fabian and Gorga, there's a lot of other places in this complex, there's like a hallway, there's a, a place at the back of this chamber. Where are you guys positioned at? Uh, I, I, just, <laughs> I think I keep looking at Gorga in all of this and I'm just like, what do you do, what do we do, what do we do? I just like, there's nothing to hit. I can lock down this hallway a little bit. I mean, I could lock down that other hallway. I mean, okay. I could go like make sure nobody. Is it like you like a casting so Cool. Is so one of one of you pick which of you is posting up at the hallway leading out of the chamber, and which of you is posting up in the hallway, kind of like in between the I'll, chapel and the other. I'll one. do leading out. Okay. Leading I'll go. I honestly wanted to go catch a peek at that weird unicorn thing, so I'll go watch the chapel. Cool. Thing. You did that. So With uh, what was that arcana check one more time? Twenty one. Twenty one. Um, you look through here, you discern the ritual, and in so doing, crack the secret of the four curses, the four transubstantiations. You know what they all are. You know. This, this ritual allows you to back engineer what every single one of them is. Um, Damn. Uh, as, you are, as you are sitting there studying. You should read more. <laughs> this book's so cool. Um, yeah. Uh, what, your, what your mother was able to do here 
Um, what you realize is, mm -hmm. for any of you guys, illusion magic, past this point, you you got the two days of traveling have been mm -hmm. at the border of the Nightmare King's forest. As it goes in, the thing making it stronger is the tree, the yes. broomstick. It is at the center of the forest, and it creates these concentric circles mm -hmm. where the curses overlap and make each other stronger. Okay. Um, the two days of traveling through here have been a place where illusions become partially real. Past here, they become like even realer. Okay. Um, that's also true for you guys. Like in the, in the way that that made Kalina almost kill Kristen, if you were to cast Disguise Self here, it would actually be the effect of an Alter Self spell. It would be a full trans transmutation. You would so I'd be, be more powerful. Amazing. You could you in other words, if you transformed into a thing, that, if you used illusion to become something that had like wings, like an aracocra, you'd be able to actually fly, right? So illusion mm. has some ability to actually like Whoa. make itself mm. real here. But that makes the place extremely dangerous. <clears throat> that curse Does that mean if I cast greater invisibility, I just don't exist anymore? Um no, because the purpose of invisibility is to literally not be seen. Okay. Uh, so you you wouldn't be like. So nobody, but it would maybe mean that people who can see invisibility wouldn't be able to see through it. Yes, exactly. Okay, right. great. Um, illusion is just vastly more powerful here. <clears throat> um, the ritual that was done here with the dusk moss was to put your parents and stuff into a state of lucid dreaming. You don't think it was some kind of like way for them to like gain mastery over the dream realm or whatever, you think it was an abjuration. You see your sister's magic helping here. It's literally like, we're gonna lucid dream mm -hmm. so that if something that lives organically in this forest tries to rip our mind apart, we will be able to just say, this is not happening and control the lucidity of our experience in the forest. Mm -hmm. It's literally like a survival. It's like, I need to be able to partially control the unreal things that are gonna be happening as we go okay. deeper into the well, forest. Is this something that I can do, or is this just an Aelwyn thing? Like, is this, if I... Um... We have the stuff. <sighs> yeah, we, we have, have the I, drugs. Mm, we have the drugs. It would, you could potentially do it. You would have to, you would have to research and have the time to do it. Um, Here is some fuckery. <laughs> give me the fuckery. Um, illusions here are real. Yes. I have illusory script. If I were to write a spell using illusory script in this forest, would that make the spell real? What I need from you <laughs> is a DC. I'm gonna say this is this is an incredible piece of fuckery. I'm going to need a DC 30 okay. Arcana check. Great. Um, I literally Arnick. can't get that, Arnick. so I would have to thank you. And can I can I have uh, Boggy help me? Boggy can help you. Can you have two Bardics? Yeah. No. Can, uh, can you stack Bardics? I don't, I don't think, think you, can. you can't stack Bardics. <laughs> yeah. That would be broken. Yeah. <laughs> a party of Bards would be virtually unstoppable. Yeah. Bang! bang. <laughs> I rolled an eighty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed net twenty. You got it. Yeah. What? Not 20. You got guaranteed net 20. Guaranteed net 20. Guaranteed net 20. Guaranteed net 20. I'm saying that I have a guaranteed net 20. Yeah. 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 Um, Don't sue us. Uh, you see, it is a, uh, you, th you think this is a trick you can try again, not for this spell. Okay. Effectively, what's going on here is, it is not, an, like, the, the, the premise of the idea is absolutely accurate. Okay. Uh, mm. It literally comes down to, like, illusory script, script still requires you to write something down. Right. So mm. if you were like, write down, like, the, the ritual for the spell I would need, a scroll would appear saying the ritual for the spell I need. Like you still would need to know what to put on it in order okay. for it to exist. Can I see that Adan tried this and it feels like she failed and maybe is feeling sad and then cast phantasmal force? You craft an illusion that takes root in the mind of a creature you see within range. And I want to, <laughs> I mean, I don't really have. <laughs> make her think she did it. <laughs> I guess I just want to make her think she did it. This is some weird. A momentary burst of triumph comes over you. I did it! I did it. Uh, and then immediately. Oh. oh uh, can I try it again and then just make a unicorn she could have? <laughs> what? 
What? Moving on. <laughs> uh, uh, a tiny unicorn prances around is very real. Um, but uh, what I'm going to do now is tell you the rest of these curses real Great. quick, which are um, the familiar that was turned into a plague, you know. That's yes, Kalina. Kalina. That, there, there are four schools of magic associated with them. Kalina's is illusion. We know that. Mm -hmm. Her, her powerful illusion. She seems to be the thing controlling the illusions that live within the forest. Okay. Right? Um, uh, the next one is the, the spell book that was turned into a coin. Uh, that is enchantment. You connect the enchantment school with the possessions you've been seeing. The coin went to the horde, and the horde has something to do with the ability for people to receive, um, uh, like to be possessed, to be dominated. So mm -hmm. all that enchantment stuff has to do, has to do with the coin. The coin is the thing that produces that enchantment effect mm -hmm. uh, that, that appears to happen when you go to sleep. You also think that it only works while you're asleep, which is why when Riz didn't go to sleep, uh, he didn't get potentially possessed. And also that if you guys had to, with no Moonhaven and no Hallow spell, mm -hmm. You could potentially just never sleep while you're in here and it wouldn't be an issue. Okay. Uh, uh, that would be, you're risking levels of exhaustion, but what you're not risking is getting possessed. Yeah. Um, uh, there is uh, the cottage, the sanctum that was turned into the cottage. Mm -hmm. That has to do with abjuration magic, right? By the way, all these are associated with the gifts that one of the tribes got from them. So like, uh, the cat was uh, a hero of like the wood elves who were all about like dexterity, agility, um, uh, combat and war. Um, the sprites were all like dream magic and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. The cottage uh, was something that like was a holy place to like the centaurs who lived here. That's abjuration magic. And what you see is as you go deeper into the forest, there is more control. Uh, uh, you realize that the cottage appeared to the celestials you brought with you. It's like a giant magic circle. It's the thing that is abjuration magic, protection against other forces trying to come into the forest. It's divine magic. Um, uh, so there are like things that are gonna prevent certain levels of spell casting as you go deeper and deeper. Um, then there is, the last one is the tree, which the broomstick of the tree that was the, the, reared by the treants. That has to do with the scariest curse you've learned about thus far, and it's the one you haven't encountered yet. Mm -hmm. The forest beyond this point is alive, and it will change the paths of itself to lead you away from the center based on the degree to which you feel or don't feel fear. Meaning, the more confident you are that you are going in the right direction and that you are safe in doing so, the more it will turn you around back the way you came. So we have to be afraid as we go in. You have to be have more to and more afraid. You have to fo literally follow your fear. Kristen, yep. you get a nat 20 religion check. What are you thinking as you look at the goddess? <clears throat> I I want to know who she is. Like I want to know what the school of thought was, why she wants to be hidden, or I guess yeah, like who's hide. I know who's hiding her, but what you see as you move towards the goddess. Destroyed face, move closer. You hear a voice in your head. Why do you search for me? Jesus. Um, <laughs> I heard that you're the god of praise through Tao and that really resonates with me with where I'm at right now. I've, I have a lot of praise for you. <laughs> Fabian, you're at the doorway. Is Kristen in the room? Kristen's in the room. I need you to make a constitution saving throw with disadvantage. Uh, interesting. 
Pretty creepy, huh, Christy? <laughs> it's very weird. <laughs> Just the eyes rolling back. <laughs> pretty creepy, huh, Christy? Thirteen. <laughs> um, uh, One roll to a nat twenty. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Kristen, you're looking up. I'm gonna describe what Kristen sees, and I'm gonna describe what Fabian saw. Okay, saw? Saw. You say, I have a lot of praise for you. You feel a hiss like air escaping from ancient tombs. Bitterness, spite, betrayal, rage. You feel a lancing pain. Uh, there's something below you. There's something I, I like, look down. And as you turn to look down, um, a blood-covered horn is emerging from your chest. Um, you sway on your feet and collapse, because what Fabian saw was that skeleton in the room stand up, leap forward, and gore Kristen through the heart. The unicorn? The unicorn. Every, ah! <laughs> and I run at it, I run, I scream and run. Uh, Kristen, you feel the life completely drained from your body. What praise will you have in death? The light leaves your eyes, and you see Kristen collapse to the ground, dead, as the skeleton of this unicorn turns to face you. It looks into your eye, and only because Fabian is immune to fear does he keep his mind as the skeleton utters, you should not have come here. And that's all for this week. Okay! On Fantasy High. Okay!